think of a situation where I would think it was okay to put my hands on an officer in the way that uh, these women put their when hands on him. When he's trying to arrest somebody else, too, because you know damn well you're fucking getting popped in the face. You seen this clip yet, Patrice? Well, Patrice has entered. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> entered at a great time. Yeah. We have to go right into the black-white thing. Yeah, was just right Hold on. I'm sorry. stick my middle finger up just because I, I know something. Yeah, well, right. well uh, uh, yeah, all right. Play this for Patrice. Yeah. Now, now, this explain to Patrice the, what's the, happening. Because I want Patrice's saying. angle on this. Here's the news: <clears throat> the news is saying uh, cop punches woman in face. Okay, that's the headline. That's the clip they're playing over and over again, and you'll see it in this clip in context. But mm -hmm. all they've been showing is the cop grabbing some black chick it's, and popping her right in the face. Right. It's it's. LOL. It's a hell of a punch. It's, right, so but you're, you're, comp you're explaining the conspiracy editing of this it's in the absolute. context. It's absolute. Well, all, all right, let's see. Well, all they're show. Well, okay. All, right. show, oh, all they're the showing is, is the cop do that. punching yeah, yeah. the woman in the face. Show the other one first. So you don't know any uh, the reason why. It, it, it's always rough to see a guy punch a woman. I got to be here honest with you. Look at that. There we go. Here, here it is. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just punches her in the face. And they well, this keep, is here's all you the see. news. Here's all they show on the news. Okay. White officer punches black woman in face. Boom! Her head goes back. Nice punch right to her, right to the kisser. Boom! <laughs> oh, it is funny. Yeah. I mean, it is funny in a sick that way. That bitch's yeah. wig just. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we fucking. <laughs> he gave her a roller coaster face, nigga. Like. <laughs> What is roller coaster face? Yeah, that bitch is fucking getting pulled back and shit. Bitch, he can't have bitch roller coaster. A living G Force face. Oh, fuck. <laughs> roller coaster oh, face. Yeah, I'm sure they great. taught him that move in the academy. Yeah. <laughs> to subdue a black bitch, knock that mo. <laughs> Right in the chops, man. <laughs> Fuck me, man. Is there any reason for that? What she do? Bite that yes. nigga's dick right before? Now, there is a reason. Well, that's the problem. And, that's and, all they're showing. But that's all they're showing on the news. Now, here's the whole clip. Here's the whole clip. All right. Oh, by the way, for the people at home, Danny, so they can play along, where, where do they go? Go to YouTube, type in Seattle Police Confrontation. Okay, there and Make you sure go. you get the long clip, not like the 30 you know, seconds. People get frustrated when we do the visual thing, but this is this is worth it, man. Yeah. <laughs> Just to hear roller coaster, oh, face, roller coaster from face from Patrice. That's, I'm going to use that so much now. H hell, of a, <laughs> hell of a way to start great. your appearance on the show this time, man. I love that. Right out of the box with a, with a brilliant line. All right, here's, here's the clip. Now, if you notice, it's a different girl that he's tussling with. At the beginning of this, he's, he's got a situation on his hands here. He's is alone. They're cutting out the f word. I don't know why. Well, uh, it's a news clip because <laughs> this bitch he's trying to arrest will not stop. She's not complying. She's saying, "Get the fuck off me!" Push Different it, push bitch. It, push it. Different got, girl, right? Okay, we gotta make now, sure. Now here comes Pinky. Here comes the girl in the pink shirt, pushing the cop. He's got his hands full with this other girl. Now he's trying to get can in you, between. Can, can you pause push, this? And bam, punches her in the face once. Hold on, but you missed something, which is key to this. Her yeah. boyfriend, Pinky's uh, boyfriend. He's trying to pull her away. He's like, don't, you don't want to do that. He knew and, what was coming. And, and Pinky goes, fuck that, I'm he getting involved. Knew. And the, that's key to this whole clip. Her boyfriend knew what was happening. Good on my part, right, Patrice? Absolutely. fucking yeah, look, the, look, the dude is like, no, nah, man, like, you don't want to. Stay wanna, out of this. Stay out of this. This is not a good situation. You don't want to get involved. And she's all cocky and confident going, well, fuck that. I'm going to get in the middle of this motherfucker. I ain't scared of no fucking police officer. Here's what man. she learned this day. <laughs> this <laughs> this she, day. What she learned, Patrice? She learned this day the word options. <laughs> and I had to teach every bitch I ever been with options, which is like, look, you don't, at that a great term is your mouth writes a fucking check <laughs> that your ass cannot cash. What, what was making her do that was woman- and here's what I learned when I was 16. Cops hate people who do things based on the law they think they know. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> the law they think they know. Th yeah. that this, uh -uh, he can't put his hands on a woman. It, you got, that bitch learned a valuable lesson mm -hmm. that men learn. We learn the lesson of getting fucked up physically mm -hmm. that women don't learn because they've taken away everything that we could do to stop them. Right. Like, just even... If you grab a bitch by the side of both sides of the face, 
and just move from the left to the right <laughs> just to say, bitch, you know what? My shoulders, I'm, I'm allowing you to live. <laughs> <laughs> this cop didn't even have to do that. He just should have said, wait, everybody, let me show you something. All right, stop me from moving your face <laughs> from the left to the right. Watch this. <laughs> Go ahead, bitch. Mm -hmm. And then you just stop and you just Go say, ahead, look, bitch. I'm, this, but still, he's in deep shit. That fucking guy oh, clocked his hoe. Oh, but look, yeah. But once again, uh, Danny freeze framed this. There you go. Yep. Look Pinky's at him. Pinky's man, whoever that is, maybe just a friend, maybe a boyfriend, is like, no, man, stay out of this. Stay out of he's and seen what, this what? Fuck Get that. off me. Get off me. Right. Now he's. We. <laughs> Six flags, nigga. Oh, she, got, she, got, she, got, she, got the, she just got six flags. That was, it was one flag for her. Yeah. It was six flags for the cop, nigga. Fucking bitch, stop. And now and now he completely took her out of the mix because she backs right the fuck off now. Oh yeah. And he goes back to the other girl who will not fucking comply. And and the guy with the camera now watching the cop punch this uh bitch is is like, "Oh no, oh no, like like he did something wrong." He did. No, he didn't. He did as a cop. Because no. they supposed look, cops have a different. Uh, he is supposed to control the situation, and and his safety was in jeopardy. First of all, yeah, his his arrogance on the cops' part. All right, ready. Officer needs he assistance. Was, he was he was calling into his mic. He was he was saying officer yeah, yeah, needs yeah, assistance. Yeah, yeah, he was, he was oh, getting fair back. enough. Then. He was getting backup, but <clears throat> you can't just stand around and go. Can everybody be cool until backup comes here? Well, and can cops no bitches are supposed jump to be, on my back? Cops are supposed to be better than us in these situations. I'm supposed to. You know what? If I clock the bitch like that under any circumstances, mm -hmm. I go to jail for assault. That's period. It, no matter if there's seven bitches on me, if I put a bitch's face like he did, yeah, but there are different. It, come on, man. There are different rules in that situation for a police officer. He is under. And, and by but the way, but do police officer shit though, and he got the taser shit would have been more acceptable. He probably didn't have one. Or or if he tased her and something, and then there would have been all oh, the tase cops tase well, a fucking woman. And what it, what you're not seeing yet, Patrice? Uh, he had a tough time cuffing her. He popped it, her in the face so took forever what? to cuff the other took one. Took her right out of the fucking mix. Let's play it again. Boom. Wow. He didn't keep pounding on her. He didn't <laughs> kick her in the head. He punched her once, right in the fucking kisser, and she she also all of a sudden decided her boyfriend was right. Why don't we? Tr somebody needs to get our boyfriend on the phone and go. Did that help you? He see, he probably was like, man, um, nigga, it took me a long time. He I could her away. never get that bitch right. He pulled her away and she like got out of his grip and said, no, I'm going in. <laughs> he Chris thinking, Brown, thinking that bitch. she's gonna fucking make a difference. <laughs> oh, did he nail her? He Chris Brown. <laughs> he put that bitch <laughs> through a wall. Play it again. I'm still it's not convinced he should have punched her like this though. Kenny? Yes. Please, oh, you're not please oh, Kenny. Jesus. You're not Kenny, please. Kenny. Ma may, Professional opinion. May, please, sir. Please. I mean, be honest. I, I watched this clip two oh, or three times. Does he have a mic on? Okay. Is it working? Yeah, I watched this clip two or three times last night. And uh, th there's a lot of issues going on here. Kenny, you would have never smashed that bitch in the face like that. <sighs> You would have well, never did that. Well, see, when I was a professional police officer, my... Well, was my, that your first week out of the academy? <laughs> <laughs> my theory was... <laughs> you have to be nice until it's time not to be nice. <laughs> All right. Yes. How many right. years of unprofessional service did you have? No, I'm, uh, I'm very proud of my Kenny, career. Kenny, was there ever a... A problem? Would there, is there ever a problem you had with a woman, where you would you would have never smashed a chick like that? Cause your manness would have stopped you. You would have did what with some other shit, but you would have never put this bitch out like that. Yeah. Hypothetically, I heard one time. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That these two cops, mm -hmm. all right, were handling a boyfriend girlfriend dispute, and the one cop was coughing up the boyfriend, uh -huh. and the cop's partner was dealing with the woman. Okay. And that cop turned to look at the other cop dealing with the woman, and it looked like they were ballroom dancing in the middle of the street, <laughs> right. right? And the cop yelled at his partner, like, what, what are you doing? Stop you know? playing around with yeah. him. Yeah. And, and, and the cop yelled back, 
but she's a lady. Okay. And the cop said, well, she ain't acting like a lady. <laughs> Fair enough. You know, so, uh. so, so then that other cop, after he cuffed up the boyfriend, went over to the lady, hip threw her to the ground, and cuffed her up. <laughs> Holy <laughs> <fuck>. <laughs> but, wait a minute, though. Hip, hip throwing, hip throwing is an accept I done took Accepted. I done took a hip throwing more than a but than a, that was a non police well, fucking if move. Was, if it was one girl if you noticed something, after he dispatches Pinky He's got that other chick that he still has to deal with and he never fucking laid a hand on her as far as punching her and she was putting up a fight. She was putting up a struggle. So what was he his didn't what was his deal punch with two people with on two him? With two bitches, right? And okay. Fuck girl or guy. Fair there enough. were two people that were on him and other people that might have he didn't know if anyone else was getting involved. So he dispatches problems as they come in and he left if it one he, to one. I've seen like Fun things, yeah. Where white bitches was acting crazier, oh. and I never see. I seen a white bitch get tased, maybe, but I mm -hmm. I just can't imagine if that was a white bitch getting smashed, getting roller coaster faced. She would have like I, that. He, this I've never seen that. I think I seen the, domestics I think the, uh, where they where they pound where they pound a white bitch, a white trash bitch, because. Uh, they're taking their man away, and uh, she gets involved. They she tell gets her, crazy. They go back off, back off, back off. She gets nuts. Won't won't stop, and they they pop that her. That was such a not in your uniform fucking thing. He that did. was a punch because he couldn't be tussling with two of them. He could have controlled her. Uh, maybe by shaking I'm her. Side, oh, I'm, in, I'm on his side in a lot of degrees, but, but you know that the racial situation shit immediately. has to bubble somewhere. Well, oh, I don't yeah, want to yeah. make it rape, but it's no, like, I know, I know. It, it, to me, this guy... Dude, any bitch should have gotten the, punched. Uh, well, let's put the mask on. Any bitch doing that should have gotten punched in the face. Let's this, play the clip again this, there, Sam. This cop's in a no-win situation. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, he's really going to get screwed for this. Of course. Even though he's justified. But, but Kenny, would you, do you think, was it ever, did you think... Would that move like Kenny? That punch was you would have never did that punch. That's a man thing there. That wasn't a fucking like cop thing. This motherfucker. You can't make it look like a man punch. It. That's what it. You know what it I mean? Was not, it was not government issue punch. Right. It wasn't. Right. You can't. You can't. He it, fucked You got a strong up. armor a little bit or he, or something or I, bitch slapper. You can't do the man punch. I just pray he get he has a good lawyer. Yeah, he's in trouble. I, I yeah. just yeah. Because, because of that uh, punch. Yeah. All right, let's yeah. play the clip again. So there's Pinky being held back, but she says, fuck that. And she gets involved oh. in the arrest of this other woman. And bam! <laughs> oh, no. Are you serious? Is she coming up? Are you serious? Hey! Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my lord, have This whole get the fuck off me thing. Are you serious? I don't understand the get the fuck off me shit. But see, put your hands behind your back and he will not be doing that to you. A little pause. Is this. This is the thing. I know. I do a, I do a joke mm -hmm. where I go, look, white women do something to get killed. <laughs> Black women do shit to get hit. <laughs> it, it, you, do you know that they need to get some lesson there, yeah, some yeah. man lesson. Man that, lesson. That, it, that is egregious what this bitch is doing. It's like, stop if doing she, what you're doing. But this is, it. I don't know if it's girl or it's black. Do I don't you know. I really don't know. But do you understand something? If that woman... Put her hands behind her back. Do you honestly think that that police officer would be slamming her around the fucking car? I don't know. I've seen some shit. I've seen, I've some, seen some shit, shit where niggas just limp like. Oh, I, I know. <laughs> he goes in the stiff ballet dance, and that motherfucker still gets beat I've down. I've seen some shit, and it's usually after a car chase. They drag him out of the car. They're all pumped up, <laughs> Hell, man. and they're fucking just bashing the shit out of this guy. I understand. <laughs> they mad because they took him on his journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're they're kind of mad. They were going home. They were on their way home, and I'm but not this, sure what I'm this, seeing here. This bitch should just fucking stop. He's he's trying to just get her arms behind her back. If she did that, guaranteed, he would have cuffed her, put her in the car, and none of that shit would be and going on. And this is why I'm saying, and, and I think I'm saying this to Kenny because it is. I always say, look, cops, 
cops should be able to arrest you if they weren't cops. Meaning, I want my police to be better than me physically. Yes. <laughs> this guy might not be better than a girl physically, man. He. It, this seems like I wouldn't. I think I would be laughing. As this bitch is going, because it seems like he got a neck move yeah. that he can do to cause her pain that wouldn't happen. That might have been worse pain than the punch, yeah. but he got some shit they taught him. Police. Yeah. He's trying to, like, get uh, get her in an arm he's, lock. He's wrestling and, and with shit. this bitch. Yeah. But he didn't, yeah. he didn't know how to do the arm lock. He did it backwards. He did it backwards. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a trained motherfucker. Backwards. Yeah, this guy, he's going to be laughed out of the police department if, if he doesn't get incarcerated. Uh, this guy, Keith from Detroit, is a cop on line uh, four. He deals Keith with Detroit, Detroit bitches. <laughs> and he, yeah, yeah. So he's, he's got a little bit of, a, uh, of, of experience with this. Hey, Keith. Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? Keith? Look, let me tell you. <laughs> black <laughs> bitches, when you try to arrest them, are the worst motherfuckers in the world to put the cuffs on. Really? Because first of all, they think, oh, take your fucking hands off. <laughs> it's always take your fucking hands off me. You know why, excuse sir? I'm going to interrupt. Why? I'm, it's... It's the law shit. The, the, I, that, you you ain't supposed to touch me. You, you a man. Me. It's like, get your hand. They look yep. like, get your hands off me. Yeah. Like, no. And um, this guy's black, right? Yeah. This, yeah. This yeah. He's oh, a, yeah. It's a bitch. I am black. It's a bitch. And, and you just have, like, a very tough time with the black women? No. It's like this. Someone teaches them this jailhouse bullshit law stuff. And they think they can't be arrested. And when they come out there and you want to arrest one, the whole neighborhood comes out and you have to crack some fucking heads. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, though. Officer, you have, but if you watch this clip, you, I guarantee you. I, what's your size, by the way? I'm 6'2", 255. You've oh, never, shit. you've never punched a woman like that. You've done some yes, some rough three, shit, but you you <laughs> fucking cocked the bitch. <laughs> Imagine that big meaty fist. As a matter of fact, Patrice, he should have knocked the bitch out. Oh my <laughs> lord have mercy. And that would have sent a message, all right? Because when you are engaged with one individual trying to arrest them, you don't need another one. So guess what? Eliminate the threat as soon as possible. Yeah, Bang, that's what he did. Out. Yeah. Yeah. Black cops like, saying now, this. Now, okay, so now it's not racial. Now nope. it's a cop thing. Okay, sir, is the, is that is that a by any means necessary kind of law that we don't know about? Like, I didn't think you were supposed to be clocking women. Like, isn't there? What's the police procedure? There, there, there's no, there's no procedure. She is considered a threat when she put her hands on him. Right. Okay. When you're engaged with another individual, all right, you don't need someone else doing something trying to stop you from making the arrest, okay? First of all, you never know if this bitch will come out of her bra or panties with a knife, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Eliminate you as quickly as possible. So, so right? okay, physical, okay, physical hand, uh, 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 like, okay, eliminate the threat, what you're saying, eliminate the threat, but is there, isn't there, like, soon as you feel maybe a threat that you pull out, stop threat something like your pistol or your fucking taser it, out, a, you talking about making a kid for trees or what i'm saying i'm saying like to put your hand meaning it seems like you shouldn't have cops he wrestling using, with people in the street he wasn't using deadly physical force no, no, on no, her no 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 he no. just he, he eliminated the threat with a, a okay, stunning blow to the face I, I, look i'm not even and i'm not even it. fucking that i don't have it. a problem with that but i'm yeah. saying it seems. I think like drawing he, your weapon is a lot more dangerous. Uh, but in I'm that saying situation it doesn't seem like police should be getting into tussles. That's part with of their, fuckers. That's part of the training. Uh, every, that's part of the every training. Day, Patrice, wow. every, when you're on patrol, Patrice, okay, mm -hmm. you get tussled every day. Domestic violence is. Pain. <laughs> and I give you that's Detroit, by the way. Yeah. You, <laughs> you know what? You get yeah. a different pass because you in <laughs> Afghanistanville, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so it ain't like we're talking about <laughs> fucking enter section where mcdonald's and 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 puffy's uh shit is it, it it's a uh, you in detroit so i i have to say you know i've seen clips of like the those those like on black websites and stuff yeah. of fights in the black bitches in 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 detroit you oh, know man. fight better than some dudes so i, I can exactly, understand that exactly shit.
I can they understand. Are another breed of bitches up here. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, and he's using official wording too. This is police. <laughs> yeah. I just two bitches. <laughs> they, don't even, they don't even have numbers in Detroit. Nah, it's nah. bitches. Two bitches on the corner. <laughs> No numbers, nigga. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have a 484. Uh, What's that? Two damn. bitches. Two, two crazy black bitches. Bitches. Uh, Keith, uh, thanks a lot, man. That's yeah, fucking right on, crazy, bro. man. Be, be, be safe in fucking Beirut. De Detroit is... <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's, it's, yeah, I can, you know... It's a whole nother fucking country. Detroit is... Detroit. When you Chicago, have to, really. When you have to take your city and downsize the borders, squeeze the borders in to get... All the bullshit crack houses that are fucking being torn down, not in your city anymore, there's a problem. <laughs> That's what they did. They and, pulled their and, borders and in. And here's a fair thing that I have to, you know, again, the, when the racial shit comes up, it's like in, instinctively, I have to. Of course. Yeah. It's just like if cats and dogs are fighting, even if the cat's right, you're like, fuck. <laughs> but it's like, it's like, look, I don't know why. And it's not, I can't dismiss it. I don't know why sometimes black folks who are crazy, mm. they get, fu like, it's, I'm scared of that shit. It's not like <laughs> yeah, a black right, thing. Right, right, it's right. not. Mm. I'm scared of Detroit. I'm not hard enough. <clears throat> like I said one time, up, like, when you pass 145th, yeah. I know I don't, see, I have the eyes, man. I'm a, I'm a corny motherfucker. I'm a comic. <laughs> I have eyes that can get me. To 125th Street. <laughs> 125th Street. I have 125th Street. I can, just, just, and it's a lot of white people around, so I can, yeah. I have a look, don't fuck with me, up to 125th I, Street, maybe. I gotta jump in for the rest of the country. We're on <clears throat> 48th right now, yeah, right yeah. around there. So, you know, and, and as you go further and further uh, right, up, it gets right. ugly. And, and you're saying you can make it up to about 125. Meaning, with your and luck. feel like if I if if some happen, I have the thousand yard look mm -hmm. of maybe. Yeah. And it's a bad motherfucker's 125. But oh yeah. A, as an average guy walking the street, you get to 145th. The only thing I know about 145th, it's not the projects. 145th and Broadway. Oh, okay. Where motherfuckers sell you drugs. See, usually motherfuckers try to sell you drugs in some kind of weird code. <laughs> Yo, I got I got this wooly wooly blue blue blue. And you go, oh, he's trying to sell me drugs. You just go, no, thank you, sir. Sure. But for, on, 145. They go, I have cocaine, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you need a whole <laughs> bunch of cocaine, nigga? They're not worried at it's, all. Dope, That's when it. you get to that motherfucking the Dominicans and put... It's not... You go, this shit... And I know cops got to be scared up there because they got the look... Like it's not about, it's not about fucking. I respect the law. Yeah, then it yeah. becomes, like Kenny has to be the cop up there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. this, this the, in Detroit and some of these places. Look, I don't. This shit, this behavior, is not black. It's some other shit that when black people do, and I know there's some crazy crackers out there. Yeah, them, yeah. Them I, crazy crackers will fight with the whole government. I've seen, and, I've <laughs> seen that shit too. But one, one of the. One of the things there are a, there seem to be a lot of videos of are black women just not complying with the police. It, it is stunning the amount of black women that will just be like, no, and then like step out of the vehicle. Please. And like very tolerant for a while. It's like, could you please step out of the vehicle? Look, we step out of And then, I mean, there's a, a real, uh, one of the famous ones where the woman's on the <laughs> cell phone. He goes, he's trying to get me out of the car. The he's trying to take me out of the car. Put the phone down and get out of the car. He's pointing a gun at me, and it was the taser. Can we get that and clip? And she gets That's tased, great. and it is comical. Yep. And then she doesn't understand why. She she cannot fathom why they tased her. I want to defend this girl. So it's like, <laughs> baby, listen to me. <laughs> Fucking stop. One of the, one of the, uh, about 10 years ago, I had a girl hanging out around, you know what I'm saying? And she was talking shit to a guy in the street, Ooh, right? Yeah, Bumped yeah. into him or some shit. No, and he no, said, no. sorry. And she's like, excuse me. But, and I walked away. Mm. I stopped walking. Uh, hey, yeah, you're so not, she's I'm talking to this. me like, mother, why would you do? I go, I'm going, what would you have done, you know, up to the point? Uh, to where he put his hands on you. Right. What would you have done? You would have looked at me. Yeah, now You it's was your getting turn. me into some shit. This guy could have been very dangerous, knocked me out. You're risking our relationship 
because you don't know how tough I am. You, we <laughs> would be a man and woman. I know I'm tougher than you, and that's all you should know is you look at me like a man, but you fucking with somebody, and then when the shit hits the fan, you're looking at me to take over for you. So you acting like, as if you're my manager. This is not wrestling, bitch. <laughs> you, you fucking put us at risk. Right. Our relationship at risk, not just me. Women do <laughs> assume you're going to mop up for them. It's like, no, let me teach yeah. this bitch a lesson. That yeah. this is, so you just walked away and she I, had to I deal with it. I started walking, and she's what like, happened? Yep. she chased me down. Good. And Good. got mad at me, and I had to explain to her, this is the options yeah. of your fucking life. This girl now has options that somebody, she felt a man punch. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See, women, I, you know. We, we got the taser clip that Anthony was I don't referring. think she's going to be uh, jumping in between a cop and somebody else. Anytime, anytime, soon, anytime she learned, she, she learned, learned like, oh, uh, what's what, a photo, like a lesson. She she has a a reference now. Yeah, she has a reference <clears throat> now to to live her life a little better. That he actually might have helped her. White fucking fist popping her in her soup coolers. And when she doesn't win the lawsuit, <laughs> which is she's not gonna win. She's no. just not gonna win it. No, no, no. Uh, he may get in trouble. He probably won't get fired. You need it's too many. I don't think he will. I mean, yeah. look, he was he was definitely sensing there was. And he's a little man. Look at him. Yeah, look, yeah. Just look at he's he he just doesn't. He, if this had been two big dudes, yeah, that he'd have been pulled that pistol out. Yeah. He'd have called, he would have been back up, back up. or something. He thought he could handle bitches, and this is how he handled, he's a, he's a little dude, man. You uh, know he's just getting ragged on at the station. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jesus Fucking Christ. just ragging him. I want, I want to play, uh, yeah. I, I want to play the clip that <laughs> Anthony, I want to play the clip that Anthony was referencing right. with the uh, lady all cocky in her, in a car after being pulled over. Love, Here it is. I love this one. Put your cigarette out, step out of the vehicle for me. But Goodwin stays in the car, talking on her phone. Officer McNevin reaches in to pull her out. He's arresting me. Stop. Don't touch me. The policeman is, you going to shoot me? He's got a gun and he's going to shoot me. Three times, <laughs> Officer McNevin warns Goodwin that he will use his taser. Get out of the car or I'm going to tase you. The next street off the sequence. Stop. 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 Now you have a reference. <laughs> Wait a minute. He went, <laughs> okay. 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 Now you have it. You can all explain right. it to all your yeah. other big mouth niggled friends. <laughs> yeah, please go around the neighborhood and let them explain know. what that feels like. Mr. Hughes, can we be fair, though? And can we please find something where white bitches being oh, yeah, yeah. There's plenty. fucking policed? Oh, there's just plenty. Just so black people can just know that we it's can't, We possible. can't find any. There's no white bitch any. police. We can't find oh, any. Come yeah. on, nigga. <laughs> there's plenty. I believe we've been looking for trees. We've been looking for it. We have the clip of when Benny Gray. Grable was getting rambunctious. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when, when he had a clip of the, the grapefruit clip. Yes. With the mush <laughs> in the face. Jimmy Cadney grapefruit clip. That's as far as we have. One of the greatest clips ever. <laughs> Can we play that today? Oh, we haven't played that in a while. I know it's old school, but that grapefruit to the face of that bitch. Is pretty goddamn right, fun. It is fun. began as a routine oh. accident, but when it was over, a Shreveport woman was lying in a pool of blood oh. at the Shreveport oh. Police Department. And the police officer <coughs> who had been with her wound up being fired. KTBS oh. Police Chrissy Coyle joins us tonight with more on this story you'll see only on three. Oh Chrissy, this was all caught on videotape. Oh boy. Well, Jody, at least some of it was, but a lot of this oh, case revolves around what wasn't caught on tape. We want to caution you, some of the video you're about to see yeah. is very graphic. Right. Love hearing that. Okay. Roll. okay. After Angie Garbarino had a wreck, Shreveport police took her in on suspicion of DWI. As this video shows, she was very argumentative. You're not going to let me call you guys. You're not going to let me call you guys. No, I need to call you guys. We have some rules we need to follow. We need to roll, and I have roll too. <laughs> Officer Wiley Willis was required to read her her rights, but Garbarino was insistent <clears throat> on making a phone call. You have got to let me call somebody. No, I am calling you. You can't not let me call somebody. So, yeah, she thinks she knows the law I, now again. And and I just wanted to make a, a quick, a very quick, yeah. um, something that black girls don't have, that if you see in that other clip, is mm -hmm. that sense of entitlement, though. The, the black girls are willing to fight for this, like, just they're scrappy. Uh, white, this lady has this entitlement of, of even above 
the law kind of feel, not more says so I'm ready to fight with you, cop. Yeah, it's more or less you. I'm. Where's your Where's your manager? To a cop. Uh, right, you know right, what I mean? right. Where's your manager? Like it's McDonald's or I something. I like to speak to your manager. Like <laughs> She's also intoxicated, um, and uh, she thinks she knows the law. She's like, oh, she always, in, in, in the cartoons, they always get one phone call. They get their phone call. Right. It's like, you know something? It, it, right, no, right. You're not getting your call right now. Right. It's, it's, it's a, right. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So they get this these uh, misconceptions about what, what it's like uh, being arrested. It's on. Oh yeah, it's, it's big, everywhere. It's, oh, it's big oh. news. It's it's, it's yeah. huge news. And all they're showing is the punch, and then and then they're they... not showing that that the guy tried to hold the girl back and and no. not to get See, involved right with there. the rest the arrest right, of the other it, woman. They cut it right when the boyfriend pulls Pinky away. Guys, so fired if that's the clip they're playing on the oh, news now today. The riot over there at South Street Seaport. Yeah, we'll get to that a little later. That's another good one. A little free concert. What the fucking Drake was playing, bitch? A little free concert that went horribly wrong. And is there more black black people doing shit? Yeah, well, there's some uh, white boy saw a thing. You saw the white throwing something. Okay. Patrice just went. Oh, oh and look, but the chair got launched. Oh God, no! They try to do a free concert at the this is South an, Street it's, Seaport. This is, it, I'm telling you, it's a very revolutionary kind of shitty undertone. I'm feeling though, people. Oh, it really is. Yeah, people are really upset with something. I will not deny that. You're absolutely it's right. It's bubbling over with the Negro president. It, <laughs> the Negro president. Who, by the way, I heard you guys talking about. Uh, mm -hmm. Two things. One, your hot dog line and Harry Carey <laughs> did not get enough credit. You uh, motherfuckers uh, should have laughed harder. That made me fucking laugh. <laughs> but second, it's, there's some kind of undertone, dude, that's very... Yeah. It, it, it's, it's very like, fuck the government. I wish, again, it wasn't Obama that it was overflowing on. Yeah. But he lost his authority. I'm going to tell you when he lost his authority. I'll give you one guess. When people say "fuck you," and it's not the oil thing, obviously. It's not the oil thing. So one little thing. Little thing. It's a. It should be. It should have been little, but it was big. Was the beer? It? Yep. The beer. What do I get? He, uh, no, you get a good job. <laughs> <laughs> when you get nothing unlike it. Bush would have never so let corny. anybody fucking. That was so fucking Tell corny. him to do. He had a beer with that fucking cop. He called that cop foolish. And if somebody, he should have said fuck him. He was foolish. Now what the fuck y'all gonna do about it? I still got three more years to go. He didn't H N I C that shit. He should have <laughs> Joe Clarked it. Joe Clark. He, I'm telling you. Horn. But after he did that. No one believe he can't even handle his punk ass citizens, let alone this oil thing and these big government. It, yeah. it, it's it, he fucked himself royally that when one he lousy had, thing huh? when he had beer with these guys and had a fucking sit down with that fucked up cop. You think the cop was fucked up? He in that was one? an. Look, let me tell you again. I keep saying it. <laughs> I'm just saying. I keep saying it. I one thing I hate. And not from you, not from the show. <laughs> yeah. I don't like white people's lying attitude about subversive racism. I don't yeah. like how it has to be a Klan member for it to be racist or a skinhead who's saying nigger, who has a tattoo, niggers ain't shit on his eyelids <laughs> for it to be racism. Uh -huh. So when a cop does these things, right, that you feel a racist, you can't prove it. It's this... Nah, 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 quiet shit about racism that I don't fucking like. He was being racial. Okay, fuck racist. He might not have been like a frothing at the mouth fucking nigga hater, but he was being racial. It was a fucking black guy in his own house. There was some kind of... It, it was Cambridge. He would have not did that to the average white boy or the average uh, white version of that black man. A fucking... But he was he, he, he was know, called there. He didn't just pass by and think I'm going to hassle enough, a black at, guy in his house. If if I said that he was dumb, and I get the thing and be like, look, I would have fucking faked it as the president. I wouldn't have said, oops, my bag, time for tea. It's you, he fucked up his authority when he did that. He he just it's like the the country got mad at him and he had coffee with the guy. He should have he might have should have fucking <clears> sent. <throat> His t it w 10 motherfuckers down to knock on the door and go, officer, um, we're from the government. And we think we made a mistake and uh, we're here to say sorry. And we're going to fuck around. And, <laughs> and but not uh, open. He fucked up hmm. with that. Now nobody, 
listens to him. <laughs> I, I heard that oil speech. It was just like, really? Yeah. Two months? Yeah, you, it's, yeah it's right. Just, Bush did a lot of shit. One thing he did that was good, he did a, a lot of I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I heard you, all those, those authoritative presidents, the ones that we felt comfortable with, fucking Reagan and Clinton. It, they did a lot. Of, I don't give a fuck. A yeah, lot. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was oh, just how fuck they, you. But the it's just how they talk to the public. I liked the best you know? presidents are usually the ones that are the I don't give a fuck. They don't listen to a, a lot of people. They they have an idea what they want to do and they fucking do it. Uh, Bush didn't go down with Katrina when he left. No. He Bush still didn't go down. No nope. for Katrina. Mm -hmm. He still t he didn't go down for the war, the longest war in the history of the planet Earth. He <laughs> or, or this country. Mm -hmm. He didn't go down. He laughed at shoes. This nigga just said fuck <laughs> it to every. Obama should just go look. We trying, and look. I, I the president's going vacation. He's doing too much. And then we're and he's making this and then we're going we have thirty thousand. It's like, man, dude, you it it's something he lost and I and I feel bad. Mm. I feel bad for him. There's an uh, there's an authority that that I think white people are, are nervous about black authority any goddamn way. <laughs> so you see the names you named. It was like when you was naming who would have been good if not a not a nigga in sight. Not Sydney Portier didn't come up. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Mr. Tim's had a little bit of <laughs> somebody. He had a little personality, right? Mr. Fucking Tim. Old Mr. Paul Chips. Robertson. Oh man, River. Uh, a deep River. voice, nigga. Somebody. Martin Luther King or somebody. Mm, yeah. Malcolm X. D to be an authoritative president, but n I, white people. And, and this is the thing. You might say it because you're openly racial. <laughs> Another white guy might go, no, that's not true. I would love Martin Luther King. It's like, just fucking be honest yeah. for a second mm -hmm. that some of that shit's racial. Yeah, there's a lot of covert race. Yeah. The tea parties, yeah. some of it's not racial. Eat my ass. I don't think it's as racial. Some or of it's racist. not racial. I don't, I don't think it is as much as some people think it is. I not racist. It might want... not be racist. But it's definitely look, man. White people I think it's more, uh, are annoyed at the black person. Economic, uh, I, I think. I think being taxed for some of these programs uh, is some of this. People... Is some, let me ask you a question. Be honest, mm -hmm. as a white guy, mm -hmm. is some of this shit, if as honest as you, can, as you can be, yeah. If there was a white president right now, right, would this same things be this this uprising feeling in the country? Would the same things be happening if it was th this stern white authority figure like doing the same with things McClain, Obama's doing? If McLean was the fucking president, McLean? Would, would, John McLean? Would white, yeah, John McLean. <laughs> John McLean. Or McCain. McCain. Did I say McLean? McLean was at the. I, I kind of like Nakatomi yeah. Plaza. Yeah. That was a new Republican <laughs> coming up in the ranks. Oh, Plaza. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> if, if Bruce Willis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. And you know these cocksuckers got me for that. Know, really, McLean? I'm sorry. Really. If McCain was the president. What? I would say, yeah. I would say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the president in some ductwork with a zip on. I would say yes to that, Patrice. I would absolutely say yes. Maybe not as much because it is a white president, but definitely, I, there's something going on out there. We're we're fucking had it as, as a society. Let me think honestly. Something's the way bubbling. I feel having a black is... president makes it bubble a little more. I'm thinking. <laughs> it, at least no, a little, I'm at least that. It, I'm yeah. serious. You'll never hear motherfucker that ain't you guys say that shit. There's a in the problem. Street. There is a problem with uh, a lot of people looking at Obama being a black president, not just because he's black. It's because of what he does because he's black. He appoints certain people based on his own race and, and uh, his own race's ideology and wants. And 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 I think Ooh, it's a little, there's not that many black people doing a fucking thing in the government. He's hiring a lot of lesbians and fucking Puerto Rican attorney general and fucking you know. Who's the attorney general? Is he what's his national? Fucking, is he he's, black? He's a black guy. Yeah, yeah. Mm, but, but, some, but, but some okay. And that's how like come a, no one if if the president Bush by the way had a lot of black people, but yeah. Clinton didn't. Mm -hmm. How come if, if if it was this is what makes I I would love to be fair all the time racially. Where it's just like boom, 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 but it's like Clinton and he didn't hire that many black people, man. And mm. and it, but you never look at 
if there's a white attorney general like Janet Reno, we, we just yeah. called her funny looking, but it was not that it was a problem. Black people in power should be able to hire other black people and because there are some qualified right. fucking niggas walking I, the streets. I think you're absolutely right. But when you get somebody um, you know, like the attorney general talking about uh, the fact that uh, white people cannot honestly talk about race and that which what which, is the fucking you know, some, problem with that there's no problem with they that can't. but but if it's the other way around and you say black people can't talk about race, then there's a problem it just but puts you would never say that because standard. black people can talk about race fairly and we're down for it, but the issue is we don't like being able we're to the not only respond. ones who fucking say that there's every time you have a racial conversation not mm -hmm. you but white people yeah. White people never go, you know, in all honesty, I hate niggas. But here's what it's just it's <laughs> always. Honesty, let me start out by saying <laughs> <laughs> it's never fucking. It's always a I'm not racist angle. Yeah, yeah. You're always trying to. Please. You're always trying to. That's paramount. That's first and foremost. Before I do anything, I want to say, look, I'm not a racist. But and then blah, blah, blah. Whatever you say is bullshit. Like uh, you, you could, you could, you could say you have prejudice and bigotry in you and and racism. There is, there are. I, 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 I base my opinions of people on, as the great Dr. Martin Luther King said, the content of their character. I'm not basing shit on the color of people's skin. Do you think a fucking black ass Indian? I've seen Indians blacker than any <laughs> black friggin' ass. black guy I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever heard that life. term black ass Indian. <laughs> any black I've seen Indians so Are you talking about the dot black. the dot Indians, yeah. right? But they always so got white people black. hair though. Yeah, they do. Yeah. <laughs> what is that about? about? There you go, right there. So it's example. not the color of their skin. It's <laughs> the curliness of their hair. <laughs> Fucking at Trace is so right. <laughs> so not a hint of a not a hint of a curl oh, in there. No, they, them and their white people hair. <laughs> they really bug me. Were you black face mop head motherfucker? There's not a hint of a nap in that hair. <laughs> like that guy who asked Indy to get the Shankara stones. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Indy. All right, listen. We, we, but but it's 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 one of those things. It's it's like I don't look at that guy and go like, ugh, look how brown he is. Ew, I hate him because of the color of his skin. It's okay. like, no, he's working at some goddamn telephone thing telling me wrong things about my Dell computer. <laughs> and, and, damn, uh, that and then I look at <laughs> convenience store cameras right. and I see a, a black skinned gentleman holding a shotgun at the well, agent behind the counter. It's his fault for not letting me steal the cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he fighting me over the gum and the fucking lottery tickets I'm stealing? Why would he make me shoot him? <laughs> you must go to Bangkok Palace. <laughs> you must go to Bangkok Palace. Get this stone. We knew when the crops could come back, that you would return the stone. Hey. The story. Kalima! Kalima! Dr. Jones! Cover your heart, Indy! Dr. Jones! Dr. Jones, he's stealing cigarettes, Dr. Jones! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking tell uh, <laughs> uh, we we start with the cop thing, and, and you did reference uh, Cagney. We got we got to play the Cagney. Oh, now. the grapefruit <laughs> in the phrase. Yeah, Danny. Nah. E Rock uh, tweeted if you want to go right there. E Rock Radio. Oh, E Rock's the, got that. Yeah, the James Cagney smashes a grapefruit into. Yeah, hey, he gives a mush. Could just, you, it's a mush. Could Clark's face. Could you even ever have a scene like that ever in a movie now? Hell now, oh my no. god, never. Hell, not even in a goof. Fuck. Not even in a goof comedy. They were not gonna let. They're not gonna Hell let no. fucking Chris Brown into fucking uh, England because of this. This yeah, yeah. Rihanna thing that he didn't even get charged with, <laughs> right. but Vandersloot is traveling around the fucking world snapping uh, uh, necks. Uh, well, <laughs> snapping necks. Well, this is for you, Patrice, because you, you were wondering if white people act up like this shit. I didn't ask you for any lip. I asked you if you had a drink. I know, Tom, lip. but... Well, gee, I, I wish... The... There you go without wishing stuff again. I wish you was a wishing well. That I could tie a bucket to you and sink you. <laughs> Maybe you found someone you like better. <laughs> <laughs> he belts her with it. Belts her with a grapefruit. Fucking yes. He fucking... He didn't even mush her with it. He hit her with it. Yeah. 
And then she just starts crying. <laughs> and holy and, wait shit. a minute, she's and, kind of cute. In, in scene. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in scene. That's it. And he and you know why he smashed that fucking? Fr it's cause you cut you. This is about me leaving you. You fucking bitch. I love you. Here's what I'm gonna do to you. Smash you in the head with a brick. Cause I care. I'm here, you fucking whore. I have bucket to you and sink you. I, you, cause you're annoying me. Yeah. I'm, I'm a guy who wants to be with twenty bitches, and you're annoying me. Here's a grapefruit, and I hope some of that shit got in your eye. Yeah, it the looked grapefruit like it did. juice. Yeah, it looked like it did. She was. Just I don't think that, that crying shit. was. Uh, was uh, uh, totally fake. Here's how abusive that scene was, by the way. It was a real grapefruit, and you know it, they did 47 takes. <laughs> yeah, and her eyeballs was burning. Okay. <laughs> All right. Clear the set, wipe her face off, and let's go for another. <laughs> All right, James, you okay? Is your hand hurt? <laughs> Want to make sure that grapefruit didn't hurt your hand. <laughs> Clean the bitch off, and let's do it again. It's pro it's probably Put a whole Miss Crabtree makeup on her. There's <laughs> probably a whole crate of grapefruits on the side <laughs> yeah. that they're just going through. <laughs> a grapefruit cutter, some black guy, some black guy, it's some, it's it's some a Negro. Hurry up, nigga, with the grapefruit. How's it coming with the grapefruit? The Negro's cutting those grapefruit even. Last one, one side was a little smaller. We want a lot of juice going into that bitch's face. Mr. Cagney, are you okay with this? <laughs> I was moving as fast as I can. Mr. Cagney, do you want us to wash the grapefruits afterwards because the Negro? <laughs> and they won't let the nigga have a sharp knife, no. so he's cutting it with a fucking butter knife, because they're not going to let no sure he have a sharp knife. You know how those people are. <laughs> they can't be trusted with the sharp knife. <laughs> I can... he's, yeah, cutting yeah, it, yeah. he's cutting it with his long nigga nails, because he's pulling them apart. <laughs> I was trying to pull them apart. <laughs> Oh, damn. <laughs> Two hits per grapefruit, too, oh, by the way. Yeah, Two yeah. hits per grapefruit. She just oh. looks over and starts crying, seeing a big oh. bushel of grapefruits, knowing <laughs> everyone is going into her face until they but, get a good take. But that's when they fucking... They, they, that's back right when they used to kick the little rascals in the kneecaps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See that poor Stiney falling oh. off a chair in his head? Oh. Hal Roach? Oh. Cut! Okay, get the little nigglet. Uh, <laughs> give, him, give him something to drink. And bring on the other one. Where's Farina? And they stop playing that. Do, 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 do. And they end up crying. <laughs> Turn it up louder. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, we're ready for fire. <laughs> Holy shit. Game um, on today, brother. Game uh, on. Ah, uh, this is funny. Uh, oh, we, should, uh, we should My fucking God. break. <laughs> oh, the grapefruit smash was an ad lib. She had no idea it was coming. But <laughs> she looks like she's crying. According to the big real. bopper in Michigan. The big bopper. Let's see. Hello, babe. Let's we'll see if we see shock in her face. That would right. wouldn't be uh, attributed to acting. <laughs> yeah, she kind of looks at him like, like what, what the, the fuck, fuck did you just that? say? <laughs> and then they just fade out. What a soldier. Yeah, uh, fuck yeah. <laughs> she probably thought it. They said they, she probably was. That wasn't even the scene. Yeah, yeah. She that was, was. That was like she probably was in the middle. She was. They were just actually talking like that. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cagney smashed the grapefruit in my face. He was probably pissed because he fucked up his own line. <laughs> <laughs> said, "I'll oh, fuck." fuck. Ah. <laughs> They just kept it in the film. That's Get a, a drink. It's breakfast. He was <laughs> asking for a drink. Yeah. They abused kids and women back then like oh. it was nothing. They didn't give a shit. Oh, shit. Mm. No fucking laws or unions or none of that crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, wait. Uh, what's the fucking sh this Shirley Temple song, her famous one? Oh, what the? On the good shit. shit. Cut, you dumb Lie. bitch. Oh, yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. I, I said, while we pop, I said, while we pop, like, cute, you fucking little asshole. <laughs> Be cute, dummy, <laughs> and make her, shirt, her skirt shorter. <laughs> oh, 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 I don't know why oh, they did that to that oh poor kid. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Show those hefty Shirley Temple yeah. thighs. Those temple legs. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. She's a doll. <laughs> you know what we get off of merchandising? <laughs> this is wonderful. <laughs> yes. How bad did they beat Uncle Remus if he looked oh. at her? He probably had to look straight in the air. Oh. Oh, lifting yeah. up those tits. There she goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's fucking dancing for the men. And all I, the men yes. are looking and all the men are looking at her like she's all sexy. Oh my I didn't what even the fucking fuck is going notice on that here? shit. Creepy. 
Nigga, I've seen this and clip a million times. And look looking at her ass. Yeah. This is creepy. She was an America's sweetheart, though. What the fuck is she doing on that fucking train? I think it's a plane. Is it a plane? Yeah, some kind of oldie plane. Flying in white girls. Well, look at this now. She's fucking... She's giving lap dances on this plane. Look at this shit. She's on a lap now. What's this guy's got it? Got her oh in his lap? God. You couldn't do that to a straight She's grabbing her legs. Oh look at God. He's throwing her to the men. This is NC-17. This is sick shit. Now she's got cum on her face. Oh! <laughs> That's what they did. They put, like, cream on her face or oh something. Oh, my God. They're touching her tits. This you is, this you is could horrible. Never do this. Now, this is worse than what Perez Hilton did with the upskirt fucking picture of Miley Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, you asshole. <laughs> Speaking of lollipops. Like, I don't remember oh, that. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. All right, why don't we take yeah, a break? Man, Jesus babe. Christ, dude. I, I never noticed good. that shit. Yeah, she's fucking giving oh, a yeah. little song and dance lap dance number for these guys on a fucking airplane. Where's the, where's the dollar bills, boys? Yeah. Come on, boys. They got that look in their eyes. I don't do this for nothing. Patrice, what mm. are you promoting? We're going to take a break. I don't know. Nothing? Oh, All right, that makes it easy. Big Mama Prods on Twitter. Oh. That's what we... That's exactly what I said. Yeah. Fucking Patrice. Funniest man on the goddamn planet. Talk about anything. Patrice is going to be at Helium Comedy Club in Philly. Got to get the Philly crew out. Well, they're going to be asking me for tickets. I don't know how many I, I could get from you, Patrice, but they're going to be asking... Oh, I got the wrong mic on for you. Uh, Helium Comedy sure. Club next Thursday and Friday and Saturday. A lot Not, of shows wait, down there da, in da, Philly. Da, 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 da. It looks like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Helium Comedy Club. Okay, yep. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, yep. next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yes, yes. Holy shit, Philly. Get ready for Patrice O'Neill. Philly, my third favorite market as a comic. Oh. Well, let me guess. DC? Oh, go. Oh. Right. Sorry about that. I was going to go ahead. Well, uh, I, didn't, I don't think you would say New York. All right, so it's DC, Philly... Philly's three. Uh, oh, Boston. No. No, San no. San Francisco. San Francisco? San Francisco. Really? San Francisco. Why? It just, they, they got a lot of people who, who like my shit out there. Like, there's, there's a lot mm. of my kind of people out there. So it's, it, and then New York is, is probably four. Like, it's, mm. D.C. Is, is number one by really? uh, uh, 10 miles, you know. Yeah. And then Philly's very, very close. And yeah. um, San Francisco's very close. Yeah. And then New York. Now, is D.C. number one because it's Chocolate City? Or nope. do the white DC boys come out, too? D.C. is just their... It, it, they just, um, it, it's diverse. I mean, di I don't like all anything in my crowd. Oh. If I see all white people, it makes me sick. If I see all black people, it makes me sick. I'm, cause makes I like to talk sick. about, when, cause when there's a mixed crowd, they force each other to be open minded. It's not, it's not a gang mentality. I like it. And you're not really considered a black comic. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? There are, there no, are guys working mean. where they're considered black comics and, and whitey just doesn't go, even though they can be really funny comics. You're, you're not, thank God, in that. Well, I'm not, you know, it, it, but I, it I, I, holes I want, right, it does, but I, I still love, I love, I love who love me, and, and, and like, you know, Philly, Philly love me, mm -hmm. D.C., San Francisco, New York. Um, yeah, what about Chicago? Chicago, I don't go as much as there's not too many clubs. The only clubs out there are the Midwestern motherfuckers. I like city people, too, mm -hmm. I found out. I went to Minnesota, and they're just retarded. I don't want to go back. <laughs> it's, it's like I'm a city guy. I'm major cities, and, and then all of Texas, believe it or not, Texas cities are, there's no, like, goddamn, it's, it's yeah. absolutely great. Houston, Austin, Dallas, San Antonio, Texas is a great place for me, man. Really? Uh, wow. Yeah, Minnesota, Midwest. Not so I, much. I don't ever want to see Minnesota again. No. I don't need to see it. I don't need to see Indiana, really. Um, certain parts of, uh, and when you do Chicago, they put you out. When you, like I'm going the to the festival, but it's Chicago. Right. Yeah. They go, hey, you want to do Chicago? And it's like, yeah, it's um Plimptonville, and it's just like <laughs> oh, no, douchebags and shit. It's like I don't want to fucking do that shit. Yeah. But Chicago is fantastic. You're gonna dude. be in Chicago this weekend. Oh yeah, Friday. Chicago itself with Norton and uh, uh, Geraldo, right? I think you should go major cities all the way. Right on. Yeah. Yep. Hey, a uh, couple things, uh, Patrice. Your black Celtics. 
How you know about my black Celtics? I follow you on Twitter, oh, bro. Oh, shit, man. Oh, yeah. They got beat down. We're all laughing at your black Celtics thing. <laughs> that got beat down, yeah, man. But I, I think Ant was saying this is what's uh, it's planned. It was planned to be seven games. Gotta go seven games. Fucking David Stern is, is whacking off in an office somewhere here in New York. He can't be happier. Seven games with, with the Lakers and the Celtics, NBA Finals. Mm -hmm. Get the fuck out of here. I don't think it's planned to have Kobe shoot. 37 <laughs> foot jumps. I, if anything, it maybe the refs can fucking affect it, probably. Nah, it's not but the, but the I, I, fucking I players, they want to win badly. What but is, that fucking look, my feet swell up terrible on cross country fights. It's like these guys are 35, pushing 40 for Ray Allen. You know he got gets the gout real bad on those fucking the when you're forty thousand feet in the air, man. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> you gotta be young to deal with that fucking shit. They're man. just going back and forth. They should have had that that game tonight and give them two days rest, man. There's no fucking way they because the game was late Sunday mm -hmm. in Boston. Okay, they probably left Sunday night. They had to go back home. Leave, pack up, shit. leave Sunday night, get there really late uh, uh, Sunday or really early Monday in, in L.A., go check in a hotel. Kobe and them get to go home, be with their woman, their kids, eat their food, watch their TV, watch all night long because hotels don't have all the channels. Kobe got all the channels <laughs> watching everybody go, Kobe sucks. His wife's head is big, and Lamar Odom is is possibly gay, and it's like they get to go home, and all fucking Kevin Garnett got is goddamn A and E maybe if they're lucky. Yeah, one Sports Center, one ESPN, not the uh, not all the channels that say Kev, you a bad motherfucker, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> so so they got their ass whoops. God damn. So now they they chilling tonight. And they relaxing, and then hopefully tomorrow it, they can pull it off. Man. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's I'm the game? Praying. Tomorrow. In, in Boston, right? No, here. Here, it's in, two, in, here in New York? Two, That's weird. Two games in L.A. <laughs> I mean, in uh, L.A. 2-3-2. Two, two. Two. You're right. I'm two, sorry. 2-3-2. Two. You're right. You're right. So You're right. In, in fucking stupid. I'm going old school. Remember when yeah, it went? Yeah, when it was. It, it went 2-2-1-1-1-1. Two, 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 one, 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 one. One. Yep. Right. Remember that? Which was better, but maybe not, because motherfuckers get the gout flying Back and uh, yeah, forth. Yeah, Man, yeah. my ankles. Dude, game seven in L.A. He's a swollen ankle. Motherfucker, my ankles look like... <laughs> <laughs> Basketballs. They fucking look like, <laughs> like Macy float heads. <laughs> All you can tell is it's my, <laughs> my shoe. I'm, my, I'm busting out my shoes like the Hulk. <laughs> You're black, On the fucking plane. Your black Celtics are in trouble. Game seven in L.A. What are you Celtics. thinking? You're done. Come on, Black Celtics. Come on, Black Celtics. Come on, Black Celtics. Ever since you said that on our show a while ago, but the, you're, you're shocked that we know this. You start, I think you started on our show, and we popped up the picture of all the Black Celtics in their Celtics uh, uniforms. Uh, Just so out of place. The Black <laughs> fucking Celtics, and they are black. And let me tell you, not because of their color. They got get, Nate Robinson's a thug. <laughs> Big Baby is just frothing at the mouth. Fucking, they get Kevin Garnett. Everybody in the league at one point was scared of Kevin Garnett. He used yeah. to travel with his boys. He was a fucking rough motherfucker. Paul Pierce is from Compton or some shit. Ray Allen is the CPT. only black Celtic that's not like fucking really black. He can live in the white world. Yeah, he's a he was. Look at his easily. Look at the face they have of him. Yeah, they, they, like kind of like happy. But Nate Robinson throws gang signs during the game, uh, dude. When Nate does good, he throws gang signs. Man. You know, you, yeah, you don't want to see this shit. You know, like where it looks like your fingers hurt. And Nate, you have arthritis. Arthritis but he stands. can't play unless you allow him to be a gang member. He cannot play correctly. Under rules, that is you gotta let him up. do you his have gang shit. Him, Rasheed Wallace, and Doc Rivers knows that. So when they, he tries to get as much out of them as he possibly can, but he's a gang member. Look at him. Yeah, look, he's throwing up. He gang can't signs. stop. But he's he's amazing when when you let him be a gang you member know, and he can play. You, you make a good point. I used to be all in with basketball. I really was. I I, I couldn't get enough of the NBA, and I, it finally hit me. I lost interest when the neck tattoo made made the appearance in the NBA. <laughs> I was starting to try, try to figure out when did I lose interest, and I think when that when the tattoos started coming higher and higher and, over, and the it's, and it's not over the shirt, over the shirt a little bit, even over the shirt a little bit, I was still in. But now with the fucking neck tattoos, Jordan, I realize I don't like it as much. Magic, Bird, Sydney Moncrief, no tattoo.
Uh, Olajuwon doesn't have a big, a giant basketball with a halo around it and Jesus with sneakers on. It's like Jesus with sneakers on. Did you just have, did you just have Jesus dunking? As a, as a, can you not have any more crosses on your eyes, can you on name, your face? Could you name one old school tattoo? From one, you know yeah, what I mean? That's very curious. Now, like, Kevin, who started the tattoo thing now. in the NBA? I think in 96, okay, 96. So that's Kobe, 14 years ago. Kobe didn't have a tattoo until, I'm telling you, until white people hated him for the, for the rape beef. Then he went tattoo. And he tried to, like, MC Hammer his way into black people because <laughs> black people was like, fuck Kobe because he snitched on Shaq and all that. And there's something about him that just niggas don't like. And he tried to put the fucking... Like he niggered himself up a little bit with them mm -hmm. fucking tattoos, and and we wasn't falling for that shit. But <laughs> Kevin Garnett doesn't have any tattoos either. He came in in '96. I think tattoos start and look at his wings and prayers and kings, crowns, and and horse shit to try to like get people to go, hey, you're fucking black. Uh, <laughs> but Garnett doesn't have any, and I think '97, '98, you might start tracing. Tattoos back to around ninety seven ninety. When they really started getting I don't out know of control. who. There, there was but probably one year, happened. one there before that, but that's when. Yeah, they really I, I think something bad, off. bad happened. That seems about right. <laughs> I think Kenya Martin might have. I think Kenya Martin is one of the pioneers of this horseshit. Of the the. Oh, he has his girlfriend's NBA lips tattoo. tattooed, his mama's face, oh, a couple of pistols. It's just he won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, the worst of them all is Jr. And God bless it. I love Jr. But he just has a giant. He just has too many things. What do you mean, Jr. Jr. Smith? No, what does he Denver. have? I mean, dude, he has a giant. I think. Did we talk about yeah, this? Yeah, I'm trying dude, to remember. What was it again? Young Money tattoo. Young Money on his neck. Oh, yeah, it looks like the Yankee. In front of his neck. neck. It looks like the Yankee emblem. It's atrocious. That's right. Man. I forgot about that. And I, you know what I want to do? I want to live to about be eighty, at least. So mm. I can see what the fuck Allen Iverson is doing. <laughs> oh, you know at, what? At 80 years old. I just, just, I just say that. I go to the phones here. John and Philly, I don't have to go to them. Iverson started the tattoos. You know what? That might be about right. I, I, and, and Iverson, Iverson came in in 97, eh, right around I there. think. I think I'm telling you, trace so it think, back to 97. I think that 97 thing is about right. with, And I think I, I think that guy's onto something. Iverson might have started that whole Cause thing. Because Jordan and them were leaving. Bird, Bird retired in, eight, in 92. Imagine Bird with a tattoo. Of of like. Or Jordan even. Of a, bird, of a, of a pigeon shooting a basketball <laughs> with a Jesus halo. Although, like, although, I, I get it. Although the Jordan Hitler mustache, which we start on this show, is now fucking taking over. Over the world uh, did, what the did, hell is he fucking thinking did you notice that shit yeah it's oh yeah we were the first ones to talk hitler about mustache. Hitler mustache. he's bringing back the hitler mustache if he pulls that off <laughs> i'm gonna tell you something <laughs> it's the biggest thing of the 21st He'll century be, all white people will be like hail jordan if he brings thank that you back. so much for bringing that back like i want to someday be able to just shave off the edges of my mustache and come into work without without having people look at me in a certain way niggas will and here's look, uh, Carmelo has it, and I have it too. Mm -hmm. But the 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 see, here's why Jordan is buck wild. That I have it. You have but, the fade, but, but I then, got, but it, it kind of goes, goes into a mustache. In, right, right. Yeah, comes down fade, from the yeah. nose. Carmelo has Jordan, that also. Jordan is clean around the Hitler mustache. Jordan has a clean. fucking <laughs> Hitler mustache. <laughs> <It's> Hitler, <laughs> he put a little fucking Hitler mustache. <laughs> the fuck is he thinking? I mean, he's that gangster. Jordan, that. But you know what? Who's to say? Why not? Let me tell you something. Here's what you bring back. Here's what Hitler... Hitler was a bad motherfucker in the, in the fashion world. <laughs> yeah. The fucking flip bang, too. That flip Hitler bang. Oh, that's, that's coming back with, with the white kids. With the, with the fucking tapered edges. Right. Hitler kept his shit sharp. <laughs> if, he didn't, if he didn't kill six million Jews, man, I think, we'd be Hitler and up shit, very man. Very fashionable uh, was a sharp motherfucker. clothing. I think Justin Bieber has that uh, Justin hairdo. Justin Bieber's got the Hitler. Hey, uh... The Hitler sweeping Patrice. hairdo. <laughs> now people are mad because we're not mentioning Rodman. Rodman was tattoo guy too. You know what? Oh, so you got wow. Rodman and you got Iverson. It's but, right around there. Rodman, Rodman was looked went, at like a freak. He went crazy. If but you when, look at Detroit, wait a minute. I'm man. I'm a basketball watcher. You look at Detroit Pistons. Did not have that. He didn't have all that shit till ninety six, ninety seven. When he's when he lost his fucking mind. And, and I remember Christ, when Rodman had the tattoos, it looked so out of place on the court. Remember? Yep. Yeah. I'm thinking, all right, I, I think it's down to Rodman and possibly an Iverson thing that started this. I might, I might, 
I might go with that. I might go with Rob and, and Tr- I was Tracy all right Beck. with it until they started moving up the neck. I'm like, whoa, whoa. But Car- but Carl Malone didn't have oh, have it. None enough. of them. None of the old schoolers had had tattoos, man. None no, of hell them. Is that true? What happened? Somebody's saying. Um, what happened? Didn't Jordan buy up a lot of Chaplin memorabilia, movies, his cane and hat? And things is that a tribute to Charlie Chaplin? It might be, but it but the but Charlie, it's overshadowed yeah, by Hitler. Hitler. Sure Hitler. Is. Hitler overshadowed Charlie it Chaplin. Sure they don't call it the Chaplin <laughs> mustache. Oh, that's a hot. Hey man, let me ask you a question: Is that Hitler or Chaplin, <laughs> yeah. nigga? It's the fucking Hitler joint. It's the Hitler which mustache. Tells Hitler every you, time, right? Chaplin had it, right? Yeah. Which tells you Hitler was on the forefront of fashion because <laughs> it was a it was the Charlie Chaplin. But Hitler fucked Hitler up. Hitler made it his own. Fuck Damn, that up. he yeah. fucked up. All right, so we got Game 7 tomorrow. I think Mussolini had clear nail polish, and he <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> and you're not, watching, uh, you're not watching World Cup, are you? You're not a World I, Cup guy. I, I watched, are I you watched, taking a peek? I watched Brazil and North Korea yesterday. Your fucking tweet was hysterical. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching, and I'm seeing the... the <laughs> Z, 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 who cares? The soccer fans get mad when it, you talk like this, though. Um, I I tweet soccer. So, for some reason, I I tapped into some some really evil, angry motherfuckers. Yeah, one, hockey fans. Hockey fans. I went at it with them oh, one I saw day. Your hockey battle. Why'd you was, go out with hockey too. guys? Because hockey they said guy. they said fuck basketball, watch hockey. So I said I said fuck snow soccer, right? <laughs> so <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> this fucking... I, I can't be mad at that. That's, good. that's funny. <laughs> snow I said the, that's I said funny. the game is going to be half half at halftime. Like that's the score. Half half half. It, it, soccer. Look it. I have a friend, uh, uh, Gavin from England. Oh, he lo- he's got to love his. Soccer. He loves soccer, right? We, I, uh, we was playing one day. I had an Xbox soccer shit. And we was we was um we, we have was... a state trooper that was shot in Jersey. Ooh. Fuck, breaking news. Oh. oh shit. Yeah, if we find out, we'll let you know. A red of Susan with yeah, that cock for... sucking two oh, seconds. Oh yeah. All right, sorry. Go ahead, Patrice. Oh, we're license plate LK four four zero. LK four four zero. LK four four zero. License plate. A red Isuzu. They're red looking for. Isuzu, man. Oh, they got the helicopters in the oh, uh, yeah. sky. Wow, look at the windows fucking blown out of his oh, my... car. What? Oh, they fucking Wait, shot him right now. Did yeah. they get out? Oh, Maybe he was shooting out. Shit. Because the glass looks like it's out. I don't know what the fuck happened there. Oh, boy. Yeah, we'll f- when we get info, we'll let you know. Uh oh. Probably a traffic stop. In in New Jersey? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wall Township. Yeah. Oh, they found somebody that was one day trying to go yeah. to jail. Nigga, take me. They didn't want to go to jail. Me. Ah, you're not taking me, copper. If the guys down the hall know what's going on, please let us know. Patrice, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, bro. Uh, World Cup, Gavin, but, the, but, but, but yeah, snow it's like soccer. we was playing. We was playing this fucking Xbox 360, and I was he, you know, soccer. So I'm beating him like three nothing or something because I'm just playing like a girl plays. <laughs> just tapping he, anything. He starts. Playing like you're supposed to and setting it up on the corner and didn't he yeah. started winning and I'm like you know it soccer still sucks it's like no matter what you do this country th- you know what why doesn't football this this is why these fucking boring sports why is a touchdown six points with an extra point they could just make a touchdown one, one point yeah why. Because it fucking adds something to it when the score is 28 16. <laughs> even though they only scored 16 three, points, times. is three times. Three, yeah. <laughs> Maybe f- f- four, four well, th- five would be field four. goals or some shit. Yeah, I got but you. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, 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 and it's a possibility. Here's another thing they don't have to play to win. It's not a I win sport, it's a wow, watch the skill sport. We're not playing around with that shit in this country, man. We tried it for years. See, this is the thing about soccer, uh, folks, football. Any t- America is a sports-loving country. If it has a certain kind of value to it, we will fucking play it. Mm-hmm. We sort of play soccer, but it ain't. it's something about it that doesn't quench no, that's fucking that, that thirsty mm-hmm. thing, man. Yeah. Any sport that girls can do... As entertaining as men can't be respected. <laughs> wow. Wow, you just fucking nailed it. Because even basketball, they don't do as well as men. No one gives a shit about the WNBA. I think mm-hmm. they the championship game's tomorrow. 
They, no one. No knows. one gives up. Are you kidding? Fuck. Are you kidding? No, I'm, no, I'm not. Exactly. That, that, no league's, one knows. that league is about ready to go away. Oh right? yeah. Oh, they, they. I think they're in deep trouble. They, they, it's Nokia. They're not even like the Los Angeles this and or the or the Sacramento. It's the it's the fucking uh, the church's chicken. <laughs> fucking like Spurs news, now. Like Bad News Bears is sponsors. Yeah, they have sponsors now. Like, <laughs> yeah. like Chico's fucking bail bonds. <laughs> right. Uh, like, like, uh, like fucking. I didn't know that. Yeah, like PokerChips.com is. Oh wow. Yeah, you know, yeah. they, they, because no one. It, it, here's the thing, girls are fantastic, man. I love girl. Mm -hmm. I love girls because they're girls. If you play basketball in panties and the nipple was out, or it just. <laughs> You fucking eat each other's pussy at the foul. I'd watch it all day long. But you're playing man shit with girl legs and bodies. You're on a fast break by yourself. All right, Cindy got the ball. No one's and she lays it up exactly the same way she would have if someone was there in front of her. You're you a can't, you're you can't a girl. Do any shit with it. We they, they fucking suck. You can't take off from the foul line. They can't jump. Do a three sixty. They can't run. Here's what they should do. Lower the rims, shorten the court to to the you know where the men's court ends at half court. That's where you put the other <laughs> rim for the bitches, so it moves faster. They did you, make the ball smaller for them, cause they're, cause they're girls. <laughs> Stop trying their to be dudes. So you fucking sit it. down to pee. <laughs> and, 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 I'm, I'm gonna tell you, soccer. You watch women's soccer, same excitement level as men's soccer. Yeah. It's not like you're watching. Look, and every and here's another thing about soccer. Every uh, every is there's a new best player in the world every day. There's a new Ronaldo that ain't the nigga from last week. How do they figure that <laughs> out though? If they're not scoring a lot, that's what I'm saying. I don't Me know how right they now, that Me out. Messi, Messi, at, yeah. what up, Messi from Argentina, best player in the world. Really? What happened to this other guy? I got used to I thought Ronald. He was the best, but... Ronaldinho was the best. Last week, and then Cristiano was the best of we, and then Beckham was the best two years ago. You, you, what? They, ch they change the best too often. <laughs> There's ten motherfuckers. They don't score, and here's the problem with even the score. Hockey finally figured it out. I was watching uh, the, somebody talking about hockey. Mm -hmm. They're trying to get it able, you able to shoot more. Yeah. Soccer. So is like okay, oh okay, this fucking little Korean guy. Oh, he went past the line. No, <laughs> he. Whoops. Now the guy kicked it, the ball, and it, uh, that's it. It ends in disappointment way too many times. Now you, don't even, start you don't even see a shot again. on the goal. We we did this earlier, Patrice. The average soccer game eight to ten shots on goal per team. <sighs> what eight to ten shots? Soccer fans, and that's what ninety minutes of action. Stop being so um, protective and uh, and. Having an ownership, you know this football fan. If you said to a football fan, "Hey man, football sucks," they would go, "Wow, really? Mm. Nice talking to you." There's no argument. Oh, well. Football doesn't suck. You'd be like, "I like it." Football doesn't because even when things are going bad, <laughs> this I argue with uh, about rugby. Rugby's a a sport for men. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. but it's it's a constant. Bunch of horse shit. <laughs> In football, it, here's how Americans make things make sense. It's rugby where I hit you, you run until I fucking stop you from running. Mm -hmm. You, I hit you and things are done. Get up and try it again. <laughs> Rugby's like that. R no, rugby's rugby's scrums and this guy's flipping backwards and then a guy puts it and it never stops and it's there's no projectile hitting. There's no you run as fast as you can and hit and a smash motherfucker. Into somebody. No, it, that's what I'm saying. They go soccer. Do you know they can't barely? I watched some of this shit. They can't barely show a replay. Cause soccer don't stop. It doesn't stop during time. It does. It, there's the timeouts are not like okay, huddle in this talk. Yeah. Timeouts happen. You call this guy off. He just runs off, and another fucker runs on. <laughs> and and they all look like they're doing the same fucking thing. <laughs> it, we don't like it. Listen, soccer fans. We don't like it. Stop forcing us. To like it, we don't. We're not rooting for. Here's how awful we 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 call it a victory mm -hmm. that America tied England. 
The, nobody big, big gives victory. a fuck. Big why, victory. And why is the soccer field so large? And, why does it have to be and, that large? And they make you tired. They <laughs> run too much. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> These niggas, it's just... <laughs> That's why we're talking about the dumb fucking horns so much. There's nothing else to talk exactly. about with this world. Stop the, stop the horns. <laughs> uh, Anthony's got the I app. I got my app. The got my app. Get the fuck out the of here. The Vuvuzela oh, app. I got my Vuvuzela app. Fuck. Oh, yeah. This oh, is this like shit, one of the top watch free shit. apps uh, out there people right now. People are digging this. Oh, people, boy. People yeah. digging this See, app. See, it's not working. No, no, no. It'll work. See, It'll work. No, no. It'll work, I swear. No. Oh, no, no, I got man. the sound turned off. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> Goal! Goal! <laughs> and, and then, uh, then Simic uh, kicks it up, and then it goes up into the NLZ where it appears to it, and he kicks on the top of my chip. Kick. Quick. Oh, no, not the beast! Not the beast! Ah! Oh, I'm losing my eyes! You were watching yesterday, though, Patrice. You were Dude, watching. I try to enjoy every sport until I go, this officially sucks right, dick. Right. I'm going to tell you what's a more fun sport to watch. Women's softball with their underhanded fast throws. Yeah, you like that fucking what where they whip their arms around? Those little fucking stubby little rock em yeah, robots. Yeah. It's more fun to watch. Co I watch college paintball championship the other day. Paintball. Was <laughs> that better than the World Cup? Motherfucker. <laughs> what <laughs> this, is Mike, this is Mike Tirico here with two foreigners that you don't give a fuck about. What do you think about this? Uh, well, it, uh, I might. It's, uh, well, it's really, they're really doing a the thing there, Mike. And they're really, we're here to, this is, they, like, we got Mike Tirico and Bob Lee who are, High level sports guys, dudes like they, yeah. those are the go to guys. You send they, they're for ESPN, Bob Lee, mm -hmm. Mike Tirico, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, used to be Dan, Dan, uh, Patrick, uh, Dan Patrick were the go to everywhere guys, you know right. what I mean? These fucking guys are now talking to the, the world's best guys. Uh, this guy named uh, Dullet. Uh, d d d something dull it. He's like, so what do you think about the? Hi, who do you think is gonna win there? This is Bob Lee. Who do you think is gonna win there, Dull? Oh my, it, it's gonna. I think so. I I see it as a one one tie, mate. And uh, you know, it's, it's the the uh, the back line of uh, is yeah. It's uh, <laughs> what the fuck? This is the who world's chance to shine, it's, nigga. Yeah. I was saying the other day after World Cup game, the post game show is the easiest thing for anyone to do. What are you What are you talking about after the game? Especially when it's a one-one tie. Who? You could wrap up the game in two yeah, minutes. Let's go to the highlights. You can right. win. The, you can win the World Cup and not win a game. Like you, it just mm. could be a bunch of ties. Yeah. And the point system. And the if goals, it's zero zero, right. you get nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's just look. People who enjoy soccer don't get a lot mad. Of people enjoying it. Just say okay. You don't like it. Listen. Uh, it, this is how America. This is why we're losing. We're losing our arrogance. Yeah. Look it. it. Four billion people are watching this fucking World Cup, and America doesn't give a shit. And people <laughs> want America to like it so. They really do want us bad. to watch it and, it, and don't, like it. Don't you understand? We don't watch it, and but there's four billion of you watching it on one TV. I might <laughs> just one TV. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a flat screen, an actual real nah. TV with antennas. <laughs> I was in fucking Brazil last World Cup, and uh, fucking the hookers stopped working over there. Yeah. It's fucking oh, shit, really? completely empty in World Cup time, boy. Mm. They love it, but we just don't like it. But stop being angry. If you don't like football or basketball, I don't get mad. They really I like get, it. They really get pissed. They, get they mad. really get pissed. It's just not enjoyable for us. It's not a, it's something they do is not right. No. Oh, make a make a goal ten points. I, I like that idea. You're right about football because it, technically they, it's only scoring basketball three, four should times. be one. Y yesterday's score should in 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 the NBA should have been forty five to twenty. Like, <laughs> yeah. but we want it's something about more bigger numbers, more make higher a goal score. Three. Make a. Let me tell you something. 
which when you're saying that an attempt at goal has only been 10 attempts a, a game. 8 to 10. Make an average. attempt. If you get to get a clean shot off in a certain area, make that count as a half a fucking point. <laughs> not the, not point. the worst idea. A goal is a full <laughs> two points. An attempt, an official attempt in a certain area. Mm-hmm. Goalie has to make the save. It, it's a fucking... It, dude. Yeah. The, the only thing we care about, right, in a, in a hockey game, and, and for people who don't like I mean, people who don't like hockey and not like soccer, we do love the mano a mano, all right, goalie's going to stop you from trying to score thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right, good. Here it is. Mm-hmm. I love the... And the soccer kicks, I've never seen the goalie stop that. <laughs> it's basically, I'm going to pretend I'm kicking right, and the ball will go left. <laughs> <laughs> the goal's just too fucking big for him to defend the entire thing. So, yeah, when it's just a player against the goalie, it's going in. What? <laughs> it's going you see in. that fucking English fool? It just hit off his face. English fool. <laughs> his family probably has things painted on the door. His, 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 his fucking sister's going to get raped now because of that horse shit. Bill Buckner, people go, oh, Bill, you suck. But his life, he gets to live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In Brazil, if they lose, one of those guys is going to get stabbed in the yeah, stomach. Yeah, they'll kill him. Well, that mm-hmm. makes it a kind of a cool sport. If it's think the coolest about it. part. Yes, if you lose, think about you, your it. fucking awful fans stab you. Imagine, <laughs> imagine <laughs> they do that in the major, major league baseball. <sighs> you, you know, come on, man. I, I watched uh, England USA, and I tweeted, "I just watched this whole game. I don't know if I watched a good game." And I was being honest. I had no idea. And people were trying to explain it to me on Twitter. Please, no, what is this it? This is why. And even their reasoning was like. One day weird. I want you to explain to me the what. Like one day I want you to explain. Because I, I have a friend who loves baseball. And I just say, look, I'm a, I'm a sports person. Please explain to me one day. And a soccer guy explain to me one day. And a base. Just what is the fucking thing about soccer? Please tell me what the allure is as a fan. I got an open mind where I'm, I, I've been asking that question, and I still, I, I don't, I don't want to hate soccer. I, don't I just do. I don't have anything against it. It just looks exhausting. <laughs> just these poor. Just, how many miles do they run in one game? Oh I know God. basketball, they're running up and down, up and down, up and but down. They but they stop. They do stop. It's called timeout. Soccer, they're just constantly just running and running and running. You ever see the time? Sometimes they run as fast as they can yeah, to just stop the ball sprint. and do nothing with it. <laughs> Juggle it with their fucking shoulders. You look tired just talking about Let them, it. You know what? Ready? Soccer? Yeah. Let them use their hands. Fuck it. <laughs> just fuck it. <laughs> you should be able to punch at the Everybody ball Everybody can fucking use just their Just grab hands. the ball and run with it. Just uh, pick it up. Like football, yeah. And just... Oh, that's too bad, Finch. <laughs> Finch. Finch not liking the Patrice. That's really too bad. He hates me. Yeah. And he's Patrice a... is killing today. What's wrong with you? <laughs> fucking Finch. Yeah, Finch. The, you're the problem. Hey, not hey, Patrice. Finch, hey, yeah, Finch, hey. Hey. yeah, yeah. You're the problem. Finch, Shut yeah. up, man. <laughs> uh, Patrice has given us some massive laughs so far today. All right, so that's what he got on the World Cup. Yeah. I think what we about, did it for sports. What about the uh, Al Gore situation? That's getting a little shady. Well, Al Something's Gore. Something's going on there. Al Gore. Uh, Two-year affair with Larry David's ex-wife. That's what came out. But everyone, I mean everyone, is denying this. Yeah, but you know what? Star Magazine. The Star Magazine is not. They're sticking by the it. The Star Magazine is involved. Sticking by it. Well, I mean, you, uh, why would they get a divorce after 40 years? Something yeah, something happened that we just don't know about yet. They were fucking uh, uh, t- totally in love. And uh, the, the guy all of a sudden goes, oh, we had a discussion. It was mutual. That, mm-hmm. And then this story comes out <laughs> about Larry David's fucking uh, ex-wife and Al Gore. And are they trying to Oh, it's an block... ex-wife of Larry David? Okay. Yeah. They're trying to block uh, the story? Are they trying to block it? No. Who's the, is that the ex-wife or is that his wife? That's his wife or is that the... No, that's no, no. That's Larry David. Yeah, that's Larry David. Larry ex. David's ex-wife. Uh, Larry David Larry or Larry David. King? Larry David. Larry, Larry David. David. And Larry David's ex-wife is Larry David's ex-wife because she was apparently fucking the gardener. Whoa. Yeah. And if Larry David's anything like Curb, mm. which he seems to be, you, yeah. you, it's really hilarious because it's probably... All I was thinking was that. Like, I was just thinking the Larry David from Curb Your Enthusiasm... Larry David reacting to his ex-wife fucking with uh, Al Gore. 
I just right. think that's hysterical. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll talk about that as well. D- dude, that's a... <laughs> well, what do you think's going on with Al Gore? Al Gore... You don't get divorced wait, here, after four happened. years. Here's what happened. Guy was the motherfucking he vice president. He was only president. married to this bitch for four years? Forty. No, Forty. 40. Oh, Tippy okay. Gore. He, he was New the, pussy, man. Tippy Gore. Yeah, he was Tipper. the vice president, had all that power and shit like that. And then he starts this whole global warming thing. He's on the road. She was with him, by the way. This fucking uh, Larry David's uh, ex-wife oh, okay. was involved with his global warming bullshit. So they traveled together. You think, and the, he's a fucking guy. Plus, so he hooked up. But think about Al Gore. He's got to be a king to the hippie broads. Oh, yeah, yeah. That are involved. Oh, the save them all. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's yeah. traveling Dang. the world with this green movement, and you you got to think the young college hippie broads are looking at Al Gore like he's a fucking god. <laughs> yeah. Right? You think you think Larry, Larry David's I think Al David's Gore might have uh, dipped into some hippie broad pussy. Yeah, some Dude. hairy fucking I'm bush. thinking. Some hairy, I'm not shaving my pussy. <laughs> I'm fucking. thinking. What's those trucks, the, 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 the hybrids? Come on. Yeah, yeah. How many fucking hybrid driving bitches will suck his dick? Oh, God. Fucking man. save the earth. I'm Al Gore. Yes, you are. How many are. solar power houses he get his dick sucked in? <laughs> He's godlike to those people. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> He's God. Uh, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's their savior. I like to think that there's a gay thing going on with Al Gore. <laughs> nah, he just suck. wants to fuck. And he's down with Clinton. You know that shit. They were oh, doing it. Oh, they the were dirty. talking each other, probably. Yeah. Clinton's like, Clinton's like, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure she goes on a trip to fucking such and such. Like, we'll, get, we'll have some filthy hookers oh, come think, in, dress like, you think like Clinton cleaning was women. Up, you think he was setting up the road trip nice? Oh come for him on, and himself, man. Him and uh, himself, yeah. yeah fuck is this? Look at how much fun this crazy Mexican trying to swim in those Oklahoma. Iowa flash floods. Jesus Christ. They're just showing some Mexican. Oh, God. Can Here's you, the can white you trash. Please explain to me how people don't think there's a God. Kaku's an asshole. He, it, th- God is really not fucking around right now, man. This is beautiful. <laughs> and then he says something uh, that, that Kaku, he goes, he goes, well, we, it happens all the time, but it does, pe- it now is happening where people are. That's what makes it fucked up. Well, yeah. If it was just Earth, nigga, fuck it. Well, oh, well, this says I, it all. I, I, right, it says yeah. it all. Lightning strikes the giant Jesus statue. Yeah, there's a but giant But why would God Jesus just pop statue. up and say, look, motherfucker, stop that right now. struck a giant Instead of this teasing shit Jesus. with the, the that, flesh that's my, I, and all I, that. I'm putting, I'm, doing, I'm putting human shit on God, but it, there's a there's a something, there's a purpose. I call it God, but, you know, let's, you know, whatever shit. It is. Whatever and, and, it is. And when right? all this oil is fucking, the, the fire cane comes, nigga. Boy, fire cane. I can't wait. You know something like that is going to happen. You know New Orleans, is, it's they're not done with this. At least the hurricane is going right up that fucking gulf again. What is it with fucking New Orleans? You just Orleans? know it's God. setting up for it. New Orleans has been one of those weird fucking places for many, many years. It's in years. a weird spot. It's in a weird spot. They have all that voodoo, that Cajun shit, the fucking oh, vampires. You, tur- you turn it into evil and shit. Yeah, yeah. I think there's some evil that's what going they just, on down there. That's what they just did the movies Boo- at. Oogly boogly. <laughs> Great oogly boogly. <laughs> Don't forget the water boys from there, too, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it's not all bad. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Don't forget uh, delicious crawfish from over there, too. That is delicious. Patrice, <laughs> I- I- I'll read this just from one soccer fan because, you know, they do feel like they just get beat up on this show. Uh, let Patrice know that the World Cup has higher ratings than the NBA Finals. Is that true? <sighs> I don't give I, a fuck. I guess that's got to be true, right? There's people who like soccer, but as a country, we're not galvanized behind soccer. I don't give a fuck. Let me tell you something. Desperate Housewives get better ratings yeah. than the Larry Sanders show did. Like, yep. I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Does that make it better? Yeah, no. Two and a Half Men has been the uh, number, number one, one show for Family forever. Guy gets lower ratings than yeah. fucking so Lost. I don't watch Lost. I don't give a fuck. Who cares more people watch it? That's your point? Do you understand that that's your point, dude? <laughs> Do you understand that why, why you suck? Because that's your point. More watch. P- Shut up. Stop being emotional, nigga. Stop. No one likes soccer in this country. They can't get over it. Fuck. We like football. We're pompous, too. I said that earlier. That's our soccer. We took their fucking name for their sport and, and created a whole nother sport where we don't even use our feet. And, 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 we barely and, use our feet in we, football. Exactly. You know but what we use like, our you know feet what, to do? We're going to call this football. To walk. Yeah. And we decided to call it football. You know why? Because right. it sounds good. We took it. We did. What are you going to do? We took it. <laughs> what are you going to call football? Our football. Here's what we did. We took your football and called it soccer. <laughs> yeah. Because it has the the word her 
And sock in it. What percent? <laughs> what percent of a football game do they actually use their feet? What percentage of a football game to do anything? Nothing. Oh my god! It's uh, I mean, only to move. Field goals and fucking. Yeah. Oh, good yeah, one. Yeah. Field, field goals yeah, and punting. Punt. So it's Kick gotta goals. be. It's gotta be less than five percent of the entire and, game. And our foot is more important. If if the score is fourteen four, <laughs> if the score fourteen fourteen, field goal can win seventeen fourteen. It the foot did that. The score is thirteen fourteen. The foot did that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. foot is a. You know what the foot is in, in our football? Just a little seasoning for the meat. Just a little bit. Just oh, in case you Sometimes it's very important. Like you go, oh, this meat is disgusting. It needs salt <laughs> to make it important. But that's what... It that's doesn't come foot in... in foot is not the meal. No. Foot is everything to your sport. And then they try to make it interesting the other day by showing one of the Brazilian guys. I get it. I can't do it. No one I know can do it. He The, the thing where he waves his foot over the thing, and the guy's going, hey, mate, how can you stop that? It's amazing what he's doing, mate. <laughs> it's like, let's watch the intricacies. A sport sucks when you have to sell it as you, like, watch everybody who hates it. <laughs> no, just have right. the one guy go, goal. We like that. We love we the goal love the guy. We love the goal guy. That's what y'all, y'all was on to something. But stop being emotional. Just yeah. just make me like it somehow. <laughs> the fuck? I don't like it. No one I know like it. Fuck it. Nice. All right. We're going to break so we can get into the Miley Cyrus thing. Oh, oh boy. a little twat. Yeah, we got yeah. we got a lot of stuff to, to, Delicious. to get oh, to still today. Scrumptious. Lots of shit, Just man. Just scrumptidlicious, I say. I want to get your take on oh. that, Patrice. I already know Ant's take. There's, oh. there's nothing fun. I've been around too long with Ant to know exactly what he's thinking with oh, this one. Exactly. If, it's, if it's nothing better than pussy... Pussy meat. Oh. Pussy esque. Pussy esque. Pussy esque. Oh, yes. Pussy esque meat is just. Almost a pussy's great. Scrumptious. <laughs> All right. We're going to discuss. Almost a pussy. <laughs> we're going to discuss that next. But Patrice O'Neill, the, the big gig is next weekend in Philly. Helium Comedy Club. That's a good joint, by the way. They've, uh, they've By the way, Philly, I don't hate uh, hockey as much as I hate soccer, so come on out, hockey fans. Yeah, right on. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, next Thursday, next Friday, next Saturday, Helium Comedy Club, Philadelphia for uh, for Patrice. We did the BP thing. I did that, too. Me and Patrice are just talking about uh, what loyalty in the corporate world. Uh, you um, can't with, have loyalty with, uh, with any and fucking I, corporation. I don't even know if loyalty is the word, though, but crazy? something else. It's, it's, some, it's some something. kind of fucking... Uh, Maybe individuality, something. We're talking about uh, he has his insurance company, and um, he's paying like 900 every six months. And then they fucking, uh, he got like a three-day lapse. Yep. Because, I forgot to happens. fucking pay after fucking four years. Man. Yeah, four years, three-day lapse, and now they want 1,800 every six months. Instead of what? Doubled instead oh, of double. 900. Okay. They want to double the fucking thing. Because so I had a, a lapse. They called it a lapse. I said, Miss, I said, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, you go into a good role of like you get them to be human for a second. Yeah. Some, sometimes rarely you get them to be human at, on a nice level, on, on a sympathetic level. A lot of times you get them to be human on an anger level mm -hmm. where you just go, you're the dumbest idiot I've ever heard. <laughs> and then they turn into a human being as opposed to blah, 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 just blah, blah, burning the company line. Right? And, and I go, I go, Miss, do you understand? I said, you're a hard worker, aren't you? And she's like, yes. And this is, can I say the name? Yeah, yeah. It was, it's Geico. But you're, you're... I had Geico car insurance. They were great. I got my car stolen. They gave me the money. They didn't fuck with me. I, I broke down one, like one time. I, I had my, my, my radio on with my back. They came out, sent somebody. Up. Geico was great. I missed, I was just, my mind was fucking gone. Missed that payment. Found out I went to, found out I, I was canceled because I went to pay it. And they go, they go. Oh, we have to re, you know, redo your your thing. I go, Miss. Let me just pay it. Let me pay my. Yeah, yeah. She's like, no. Take up where I left it, off. It's, it, it's over. And then they came back. I used to pay nine hundred every six months. Came back with me eighteen hundred, doubled it. Jesus. I said, you. Do I said, do you? The world we live in, for real. Um, you you would do that to me, and that's your job. And then and then I said. I have to leave. Yeah. I can't afford this. I can't pay double what I was not only, paying. Not only can I f afford that, meaning, it, and also it's principal, I can't afford it, and, and it's like, 
to say that I lapsed at your company when you see that I've been a great customer. Why can't they look at that? They can't look at the fact that you, you went you three get one. years, you four years. You don't with, get one. And, and look at my record. World. They could look back at your records and go, look at this nope. guy actually paid in full, on time, for four fucking years. One fuck up for three days. And we're fucking them over for and double I think, the money. And I think then the woman, somebody should look and go, no, you know, just sign it back up. We'll we'll fucking. I I, I think the woman went. I, I, my plea was such a plea. She went to ask her. <laughs> could you go to your supervisor? I mean, I was like, please, <laughs> miss, help yeah. me, help me. She understood on a human level. She did. Yeah. I felt her. She said, "Oh my God." I said, "Miss, your hard work. I know your last name ain't Geico. You must be." <laughs> If you if somebody told you that your next bill would be nine hundred dollars more than it is right now, that would have to be shocking to you. I said I I have to leave your company because it's like if you go out with a woman, y'all break up for a week, get back together, and then she you go to try to fucking touch her tits, and she goes, no, we have to start all over again. <laughs> we got to start with, and not only do we have to start me all to over, dinner. You, you I'm gonna double how hard you have to work <laughs> to so fuck rough. me again. And I said, "Do you realize that I can't? I can't do that now. Even I have to go someone else, somewhere else, and pay eighteen hundred. I'd rather pay someone else eighteen hundred than to pay you eighteen hundred. You would do that to me. Yeah. Well, I, we established something. I thought. So when you moved on, are you paying eighteen hundred? Paying nine hundred. So, oh, so you're going guess, to nine hundred. And guess guess who's an asshole? Fucking the guy from the unit. Fuck Dennis Haysberg." In all state can eat balls. <laughs> uh, there's another one I went to, Core, which was a Jersey one. The guy was nice, O and A fan, mm. you know. But Core doesn't give you. In, it's like a, it's a no frills. They give you nothing. You break uh, down, nigga. You're like help. Yeah. Fuck you. Help. Guess who end up being good? Progressive. Progressive. I well, thought so. With what's her name? If you ever have what's a fucking with the bitch flow. If you have a problem, flow. Flow if rules. you don't have any, if you don't have any fucking, uh, they didn't even give a fuck about the laps, because they're like, this ain't really a laps. And with progressive, you fucking do it over the computer. Oh. They tell you what you got, your thing, your blood. If you don't have a fucking any bullshit in the last three years, progressive. If you have a problem <laughs> with Geico, Geico's pretty good, but they they gonna fuck you now because oh. they need money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got in. They were so happy a motherfucker like me got in because I grandfathered in to some good money. Yeah. It's like AT and T is getting ready to charge uh, for for uh, right the, the the calling plan for the iPhone for the iPhone for the for the the web minutes. Yeah, yeah. That's if ins you if that's you're, insane. If by you're the way. grandfathered in, you good. Yeah. So they pray to God you fuck up. So oh, they can fuck yeah, you yeah, over. So they can fuck you. I've been grandfathered in with my AT and T bill for fucking ten years. They want Flat you. Rate. They, they want, want me to fuck you up. Bad. You're so right. They want you to fuck up so they can redo this whole thing. Yeah. No, I'm in there with the I, iPhone thing. How are people going to afford that? Ant? Yeah, they will. Believe me, you they think so. They just they had they overloaded the fucking calling things yesterday for pre-order. It was overloaded mm, yeah. at AT and T, so they're not Apple. Even, they're going to not even phased by this. So many of these fucking fours are going to be sold. It's going to be amazing. You're going to go like, this. was this just introduced? Is this the is it first four, iPhone 4G? again? Yeah, or 4G. 4G. Uh, no, no, uh, it's uh, it's not 4G. No, it's 3G. No, 3G. 3G S. Or, 4G is not coming uh, out on AT&T and Verizon yeah. until next year. But they got a, it's, all, it's a whole bunch of new frills and fucking thingies and yeah, fucking bells and whistles. You can do it was, it's, just a, it. it's just a so, shame because you was uh, talking about Live Leak. Or a live stream. Live, live stream, what they did to him. Why wouldn't they work with you? Live stream, work with me. I could bring a lot of viewers in. I could bring a lot of people to come in. And, right. and, and some of those people are going to start their own show. Yeah. And, a lot you know. of, yeah, yeah. But you know what? I fucking had to go to Ustream. Yeah. I went to Ustream, and then I go to Ustream, and, and it's like, oh, I could do fucking 14-9 aspect ratio. I could go oh, widescreen. Nice. I could do a few other things that I wasn't able to do with, with live stream. And I have no, you know, I, I didn't have any I'm personal gonna... problems with live stream, but it's like, you know, why do I have to sit here now and have commercials thrown in every five to eight <laughs> minutes? I swear, every five to eight minutes, my show stops. And they won't work a with A commercial you. goes in. 
And I no, it's this no, no, no. But you're not explaining do. it. It's but you don't know when they're going to throw no, the no. commercial in. No, because at least if you knew when the commercial was going to pop, you could work around that, like we do right here. Every like day. I can monitor my show and what the people are seeing on my show as I'm doing the show. Right, I, and that's usually what I do. And then every five minutes, it says twenty seconds to commercial. And it's counting down. But when I get that commercial, it doesn't mean everyone's getting right. it. They all get it at different times based right. on when they logged in. So if I saw that and it was all at the same time, That's I could go, all right, here comes a commercial, guys. I'll be right back in 20 seconds. You can stop. And then I could stop the show. But you can't. Because, but you're realizing yeah. at any given moment, someone's missing so, what you're so saying. So you're talking... To nobody when they're showing a commercial. They're showing it to everybody that's... No, in. no, that would be, that would be something good, because at work, least then I could work, work around, around it. They're, at any given moment, someone is getting fucked. They're putting commercials on all all. So how times. many... My thing is, okay, when they when you leave these places, mm -hmm. I left Sprint for the same reason. I, yeah. I, I like said, okay, Sprint, go eat my dick. <laughs> <laughs> what what did Sprint do to you? Um, uh, uh, oh, shit. Oh, Charge me, it, it's simple. Charge me for something I downloaded that didn't work, and I said, "Could you just take that off? Take that off." Sorry, sir. Which is becoming the most egregious thing I've ever. Sorry, sir. Sorry, They're sir. Not sorry. I can't do that. I go, please take this off, man. I'm I'm a good customer. I'm asking you. You don't see me as a as a person that's trying to get over on Sprint. I pay my bill. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Just take it yeah. off. This is not a scam. I pay a hundred and yeah. some odd dollars a month. I'm not Nigerian here. Yeah. Trying to fucking... And they said no. And I go, you know, um, I, I, I think I'll just get the fuck. Fuck you. I'll go yeah. somewhere else. I, I, I have I have the ability to leave. Fuck mm -hmm. you. And I'm wondering how many me's does it have to be for the company to go? Uh oh, maybe we should take we the should shit stop off. Stop being a piece of shit. We a should probably start That's taking the, the shit off when they say. When do they care? Will you take the shit off? Way too yeah, many. When do they care? Way too many me's have to do it. Yesterday, just yesterday, I get a phone call and uh, it's uh, cable vision. And they go, another gangster. Hi. They go, hi, another. Mr. Kumia. Wait, they're still going at it with yeah, you? They, they go, hi, Mr. Kumia. They've, they've um, tried this with you a few times no, already. No, this is even better. They go, we just want to um, let you know of some uh, great new um, options we have for you. And, stuff. And, and she's talking. I go, um, I don't have cable vision. Oh, they had no clue that I don't even have the company anymore, and I haven't for about six fucking months. She goes, oh, what, what, what do you, you got have? now? I right. go, I have Verizon. Fios. I got Fios. Okay. I got Fios. She goes, oh, and then they, they got a, uh, could I ask you why you, because I'm sure the supervisors go, if someone tells says they got a different company, you, you ask them all the questions. She goes, can I ask why you left? I go, yeah. Um, my picture was constantly freezing up and pixelating, <laughs> and I was getting a lousy signal. Uh, and with uh, uh, FiOS, it's great. It's smooth as silk. I just got I got more channels, more HD channels. And she goes, you know, a lot of times that's not an issue with uh, our... She's making excuses. I'm not even with them anymore. And she goes, sometimes that's an individual connection with your house or something. I go, oh, I know, because I called Cablevision to come fix it three or four times, and it never got fixed. I go, and Fios, Verizon came over, hooked me up, fiber optics... I have smooth as silk video now. And I said when there was a problem uh, with the video and I called them up, they ran another line into my house, another fiber optic, one just for video and one just for data from all the computers I have, and didn't charge me extra for it. It was just because that but was you, what I but needed you as a do, customer. You do realize, though... You be you're 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 on the bottom. You're coming in. Oh, I know. Yeah, and yeah. it's just like fucked. when a pizza shop opens in your neighborhood, the the slices are as big <laughs> as your fucking fucking <laughs> elephant right, ears right. <laughs> for a do <laughs> for a dollar. <laughs> Fuck. You know what? God damn it, Patricia. You're absolutely right. Yeah, that's funny. Because Ann talks elephant about ears. Ann talks about this files like they're they're special. Oh, they're not like me again. eventually you're gonna get fucked by. But you know what? Then I. Hope Every fucking, company you deal with. I hope fucking wait, 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 wait. BIOS comes out then because right, I'll switch on. to them. But what happens to the pizza, though? You set up your bit there. It, it uh, starts with the elephant ears for, for a dollar. dollar. Right. Then it slowly gets smaller for a dollar ten till, <laughs> until it becomes <laughs> minuscule for a dollar seventy-five, two dollars. <laughs> right. Less cheese, less sauce. Less, less everything. everything. When they first come around and they and they got to do what they got to do, then you got to. But hope they won't maintain. They never that, maintain. that situation. Then you hope service. there's another place that opens up. I tell you, one time I got somebody <laughs> on the phone. I'm pretty good at getting that. people to be human. 
one time I the girl goes, okay, if you pay over the phone, um, they don't like you to pay with them. They don't like you to do human stuff anymore. Mm -hmm. If you watch the supermarket, there's one aisle with one person, and then everybody there's a long line of people checking themselves out. Yeah. Even in BJ's, how the fuck <laughs> do you have a self checkout in B? Nigga, did I just put? A bucket of rib. Did I put a? <laughs> did I just put an 18, 18 pack of granola on my? Did am I checking this out myself? <laughs> at, at BJ's, yeah, I check yeah, it out. A yeah. giant watermelon. It's rolling down the BJ's thing. It's shocking. Anyway, I tell the person because they go, they don't want you to do human shit. So anytime you have to be human, they charge you. So the, the lady at, at, at Comcast, she's like, it's four ninety five, okay? And it's out of Louisiana somewhere and shit, the, the thing. So it's, you know, so it's kind of fucking ghetto anyway. But I go, let me ask you a question, baby. She goes, what? I go, listen, four ninety five, right? How many people you think are late every time, right? And they got to go with the, about two million a month? Mm. About, man, I don't know. That's, that's fucking, what is that, 20 million? That's two times five, ten million dollars. A month. Do they give you a dime of that shit? <laughs> yeah, right? Not Why the... the fuck are you working so fucking hard <laughs> for, a, for a company that doesn't give a... That gets an extra... Look. Ten million a month he's just cause I'm fucking them. late. That's he's starting awesome. to make him think like, yeah, mother motherfuckers. <laughs> they won't get. You see how hard you're fighting with me, Mister K, Mister Fucking. And, and your Comcast and your paycheck's not going to change. Why are you fighting with me? Why so are hard? you doing this? Why right. are you just doing this? Just go to the basic shit. Give me some extra chance, you know, baby. That's the way to attack these uh, companies. Get to that's the people. Good. Undermine get their to own the people. Loyalty but they're trying to, the to get rid of the people before. When I look at toll people and their apathy. Tobu, you got an easy pass, Ugh. but I, the apathy. You're, you're, uh, you're not easy passing yet. I think I'm. I even I finally might, gave in a few years my, ago. My boy drove, dr was driving. My boy, me and my boy drove to. Do, 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 do. Was it Washington? We needed easy pass where we was going. And uh, well, anywhere south of New York, you need mm -hmm. that easy pass. There's way too many tolls. Oh yeah, it, way too many. I got, tolls. I got three, three tickets, three, cool th three tickets for non. For not using Easy Pass account. pay, and of course, Easy Pass fifty cents, twenty five dollar fee for yes, yes. So handling processing. fee, handling processing, processing right, fee. Right. They're fifty Cr cents. Criminal, that evil is criminal. criminal. But he had the thing which they have these these Easy Pass ones that are on the highway now. Yeah, yeah. That you don't even have to slow down. But, but he had it, and it didn't go off. You can't hold or them you, in the windshield or anymore. Or you forget because it's not obvious. You're going bitch. through those sometimes. It looks like you're just still just on the regular fucking highway. To Atlantic City, they look like lights. Exactly. But they did that on purpose, too, so they could charge you the $25 yeah. processing fee. Oh, I, It's nowadays, all a scam. Nowadays, I fly through the Easy Pass, and I'm talking New York Easy Pass, where the gate actually brushes my windshield. I will not stop. I try to see how <laughs> fast I could go through there. <laughs> Whoosh! It's like, ah, clean my windshield. <laughs> <laughs> Customer service sucks. Uh, my, favorite story that, takers. my favorite story that you tell, you did the pizza thing, but you got to do the Asian thing again. Where you go to the same fucking Chinese the, restaurant. The, 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 I the love same, that story. The same. Because that shit drives me nuts now that I'm a New Yorker and I'm going to the same places over and over again. It's like, you can't fucking give me just a little something to acknowledge that I'm here three times a week. I'm going to tell you, Jews get a bad rap for being cheap. I mean, it legendarily supposed, but mm -hmm. Chinese people <laughs> are the cheapest, most un disconnected human <laughs> beings I've ever fucked. Let me tell you, man, the guy I've been coming to clean my fish tank. I can't clean it, you mm -hmm. know, cleans my fish tank every month. I give him a two, you know, every month. Wow. Two? Two. Cause it's hard. It's a hard. I watch him. I go. It's this is worth it. This shit. Yeah, yeah, you got a big ass shit. fish tank. We don't even know about this. Two hundred twenty gallons. What wow. you got in it? Anything good? Uh, I got a lot of good shit. I got lobsters and fucking. It's not. And, and a lady convinced me it was. I, I had it like five years because, you know, my, my 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 fucking blood pressure. She's like fish. Calm you down. I don't even watch them. I just feed them and they live their life. You don't even watch <laughs> them anymore. Live their life. If them cocksuckers could walk, they would just leave. Like they like and you that's know salt water tank. Uh, uh, no I have a fresh water, fresh but water? but I have good looking fresh water. Yeah, fish yeah. Water. How big is two hundred and twenty gallons? It's I don't know. Is that about a two twenty right there? That's it, it's a it's pretty big. 
Jesus Christ. And it's, you know, it's not, big tank. it's not an asshole big. It's not like, it's just, you know, cool big. I have a little yeah. space. That's cool. Gotcha. But, but his, this guy goes, he comes in, his name is Tom. Good guy. You know, Patrice, um, you know, <laughs> he, I, I told him, get me a fucking a thing so I can check my pH for the thing. I don't want my, my fish being uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. It's like sometimes the pH goes, you go, I go, give me a pH thing. You don't want you to know, get the ick. Yeah, you know, get all that bullshit. So like I try to take care of the air. fucking. <laughs> you, right, <laughs> you don't want to walk around right, in acid yeah, I'm air. I'm like sitting there going, hey, I'll just <laughs> wait. Yeah. The fucking fish is sitting there choking. <laughs> <laughs> if, let me tell you something. You know when your fish is suffering when their mouth, they're breathing like people in the water? <laughs> <laughs> their mouth get your water shitty nigga change your water <laughs> <They're gasping laughs> underwater <gasps> like fish breathe Holy through their gills shit, yeah. when their mouth is open other than eating there's issues <laughs> clean your tank you cocksucker <laughs> so um i he goes he brings me this ph meter the ph meter was like a, a hundred he goes um but i didn't charge you for the battery like for the battery. I, I, I use one of my batteries. I go, you didn't. I said, S here's where I knew he's fucking insane. I go, I said, man, thank you so much. Sarcasm? Yeah. He goes, it's okay. Like, he. Like, he didn't take the sarcasm. He dude, thought you were thanking him for the battery. This fucker said to me, I didn't charge you $4 for a for thermometer. Chinese guy. Mm -hmm. Nice guy. He told me that. So anytime somebody passively tells you that they didn't charge you for something, they want to. I said, I don't have it on me. I said to my girl, I said, sweetie, go upstairs and get this. Uh, there's a bucket full of change. And bring it downstairs. I pulled out four dollars a quarter. This motherfucker took it. Cupped his hands <laughs> <laughs> and took four dollars and quarters. And said, thank, I, I went a, above and beyond the point to try to embarrass him. Yeah. He cupped his fucking hands. Chinese restaurant I go to almost twice a week. I only go there to eat. They won't give me a fortune cookie. <laughs> They don't know my name. They, they mispronounce it. The, the fucking girl calls me O'Neal, right? Ooh. It says Patrice on... She goes, oh, Seinfeld, <clears throat> yeah, party up for us, dude. You know, I try. I'm but, telling you, I try to make my own Chinese food anytime I can get a chance. It's impossible. If I figure it out, it's gonna. <laughs> I'll never go back again. You need that headache spice. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that fucking thing is. MSG, MSG nigga. Right? <laughs> With, yeah. uh, trust me. Out that MSG without shit. MSG, you're not gonna make <laughs> delicious Chinese food. No, no. no. It's, it's a it's a fucking hallucinogen. No, now, you when need you go to the Chinese restaurant twice a week, they look at you where they almost know you. You get that almost. Where you have to remind him who you are, like you know. Hello. There's one one Hello. waiter shakes my hand like, like he knows. He, he me, sort but... of thinks he knows you, and he doesn't understand why. And you have to go, well, because I'm here all the time, asshole. The little girl behind that takes the orders. If I call, come pick. She won't know me. I while I'm waiting, can I have a glass of uh, half, you know, half oh, water, half it. cranberry? They get it. That they <laughs> put the four dollars and fifty. <laughs> They put it right on your takeout bill. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chinese people know nothing about loyalty, man. Like a little, well, let me ask a you little, this. you know, give but, and take. But they, they're not even aware, though, I'm thinking. No. They, I don't think like, it's malicious. Like, like the Jew that we, we talked about. <laughs> they're aware. If they're going to be cheap, they're aware they're being cheap to you. The Asians, I don't think, or the Chinese people, I don't think they're, they're even. I don't even think they're aware what they're doing. I, I think you might be right because Jews have a negotiation cheap. They're just going to try to get what yeah, they, you yeah. know, you go back and forth and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Negotiators. But Chinese people have a, it's an ingrained, because I think a penny here or there means nothing to them. I think, here's, here's what they are. Tremendous service. <laughs> I'm telling you, the guy that cleans my fish tank, dude, mm -hmm. fucking he, meticulous <laughs> cocksucker, man. Lift shit by itself, does a fucking phenomenal job, but will not be human with me. <laughs> I try to make him, I've been trying to make him human for five years. Wow. Five he years won't be human board. with me. He gets, what, <laughs> what is that about? And he won't, he won't, I go, look, after five years, I know a little bit about fish. 
I go, this guy, something's wrong with this thing. It's not growing. I think it might not be a, a, a male. Because male fish just look better than female fish. Sometimes female fish, some, mm -hmm. they just, they're bland. Male fish, they get colorful. And I go, I think he might be. Oh, no, I think what happened was um, at the pet stop, um, they didn't feed him. So, <laughs> nigga, stop. <laughs> like, and then he'll go, he'll do a, he, he'll do a, I know that you're trying to be funny laugh to oh, me. But... Like, he knows that I'm trying to be charming. So he goes, <laughs> to to try to go with it. Acknowledge it, but not, but he's it's not, not affected he's by not it. He's not able no. to be human. It's something about what yeah, they do to them. I don't get it. All right, here's the, here's the question now, Patrice. You, you travel the country doing your comedy. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of Asians in the audience? I'm going to tell you the only place where they San have... San Francisco. Where, yes, where they have... Mm -hmm. Human Asians. Human Asians are in San Fran. Dude, <laughs> they've been there longer the than any other. The first time I went to San place. Francisco, <laughs> oh, a Chinese girl said, "You're so funny," and I, she didn't use an FL or an R. Like it was like, <laughs> "You're funny." They've been there longer like, than like any other place I in was the like, country. Thank you. We talked, and I said, "Dude, I'm, I'm telling you." I said, "Look, I'm not bullshitting. You, this may sound right." Where I'm from, I'm at war with Asians, man. <laughs> I'm at war with them. They just won't be nice. San Francisco Asians are the greatest Asians. I, I, they're, they're so, like, mm. people. I don't, never have I met any other ones that's like. They've been like, there a long fucking time. Yeah, they've time. been there a long time. Long I think time. that's what it is. East Coast Asians, like Chinatown Asians, just. Oh, it's a whole nother a horrible uh, group. group. Just they no just, idea. I, I have a place that I order uh, sushi from. I have it delivered. You know, Japanese order, not as bad as Chinese, by the way. The, I'm, no, jumping a, right a, wait, wait, I'm jumping wait, in right wait, now. Wait a minute, wait a minute, though. I'm jumping in right now. You have he has to you have to jump in. I'm jumping in right the fuck now. Still bad, we, but not as bad. We have to explore the fact, okay? That look in every group, and this is I'm explaining it to people out there that wonder why white people and black people are the only. It seems that it's redundantly us talking about race. Mm -hmm. For that simple point is that we picked the color, that we picked a, a side, black and white. We don't get into Irish and Italian mm -hmm. and uh, half Barbados and half Jamaican. It's black, black versus white. white. Fucking Chinese people. The, every group has a white person of that group <laughs> that they hate. Puerto Ricans are the white people of Latinos mm -hmm. because they don't have to swim here and they treat them like shit. They treat every other Latino like shit because they're illegal. Puerto Ricans laugh at Arizona because they, they're not fucking right. these dirty Mexicans, right? <laughs> Same thing as Japanese. Japanese are the white people of fucking China, of, of Asia. Of Asia. Yeah. And they, they act a little sushi restaurants they have a little bit more personality when you go into sushi restaurants and you're having trouble those people are chinese but the, that's what i'm talking about uh this this place does both chinese and japanese and i think they have like a japanese sushi guy that makes the sushi but everyone in charge is chinese so when i order uh first of all i i get stressed out to the point of like I'm sweating when I have to call the order in because I know no matter how many fucking times I give them my goddamn address something's gonna be wrong they cannot get that address right on the phone I'll be like blah 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 no no here's my address and they give it back to me and it's a completely different word than my street completely different word and then I'm like no that one eh. And, and you try to get the order right with them, and, and it's on their menu. They wrote the fucking thing. They, they and have they're it. frustrated yeah, yeah. because they can't understand you can't understand in this me. great world where we speak this language. Exactly. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And now I've been, I've been like, for, for years, you use the same place because you just get used to it and everything. And I, I always ask for extra, like, soy sauce. Oh. And, and, and they bring me... I got I got like stacks of sushi and I got two thimbles, two thimbles of fucking soy sauce. Am I supposed to dip all these California like, rolls yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. in this? Right. Are you Three serious? California rolls and it's fucking dried up. Even worse though, they hold back the wasabi the same yeah, way. Yeah, the wasabi, everything. Did you see how much fucking fish I ordered, the, you fucking asshole? The guacamole. I don't care how healthy Give me wasabi you as big as my fist. You can't eat sushi without the fucking without right. the soy sauce and one little. 
wrap of fucking rice yeah. and salmon soaks up all the fucking <laughs> soy oh, yeah. sauce. Yes. That's why you need a lot of fucking soy sauce. It's they do it with the wasabi too, man. God I don't know what the fuck damn. the deal is with, with, with. Is it hard to make or something? No. Yeah, well, it seems fuck? like it's a cheap fucking I thing. I bought wasabi powder just in case I needed it. I have wasabi in my house for the like, same reason because I know they'll never give me enough. You make it. It's the easiest thing to Mother make. Motherfucker. It's horseradish. It's, like, it's fuck, yeah. Yeah. But and today I've given you two cheap. packets was Why? taking care of you. Everything's counted. They can't fucking... They don't just pick up a handful of chopsticks and throw them in. It's like one... one. Two, four napkins. Four napkins. But that's what they make them do in their package country. of, of well, you know, one oh, fortune for a real sushi lady in to make real lady. sushi sandwiches for us. Sandwiches. Hi. Sushi sandwiches. Hi. 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 She's friendly lady. <laughs> what do we have here? The building blocks of sushi. Shushi meat, peaches, and guacamole. <laughs> and go out the mall. Yes. It's not that hard <laughs> to <laughs> let other people from other countries talk to you. <laughs> if they have peaches and it's just all peaches and cream all the time, it'd just be a dessert, you dungle. I love guacamole. It's my favorite. What's that? Who is really hot guacamole? Oh, guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> Holy guacamole! Yeah. Check it out. It's just a... That's just. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I don't either. That's like an actor that has been in some great shit. And so... John C. Riley. And yeah. he's doing Doctor Steve uh, Brule. Oh my God! On Adult Swim, it's... and it's fucking hysterical. It's classic. <laughs> sushi, sushi meat. Sushi. Peaches, peaches when you points to the ginger. Peaches and the wasabi and guacamole. <laughs> guacamole. <laughs> Holy guacamole. This is horseradish. You're most likely to have come across it as the powerful paste wasabi that's eaten with sushi. 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 That's eaten with sushi. sushi. Look, I don't want to get banned by fucking it, but they have to stop, man. A lot of these people. Yeah. Let me tell you, dude. When I was doing doing the pilot, and you know, we had some racial shit going on. And mm -hmm. it, if you ask a foreigner to do them, they do the they do the exact <laughs> fucking <laughs> like racist. Oh, absolutely. Shit we do right. They're exactly how they're portrayed. Yeah. Except for they do it. It, 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 I can't do it because I'm. I'll, I'll be a fucking piece of shit. Of course. But they do the stereotype. They yeah. are the stereotype. So, so what's the harm in in doing it, especially in a comedic context, uh, not this hate mongering or something? Uh, what's yeah, the crime in doing it? It's yeah, just they just it's fucking. They, they don't add to funny. Indians are the same way. Just mm. how do you? Get, I've never seen a more miserable. I want to just hang out with Indian men. <laughs> I've never seen a more miserable group of women. Oh, don't than they? Indian women. They and that, and never that comes from the guy. They are the the saddest yeah. bunch of women I've ever. Now the ones that Except American, the young hot ones, young hot yeah, ones who yeah, said yeah. fuck, fuck their yes. whole country. Yeah, yeah. But women who are down, who who have this loyalty, and I think that's why. Again, black and white people are much happier, even though we're in this racial game. Mm -hmm. We're much because we fuck each other. We, we, it's like a Tom we and both, Jerry. We fuck each other. <laughs> We're like fucking Tom and Jerry. But I mean, fuck the like Roadrunner and Coyote. Like fist fight. <laughs> yeah. We have sex with each other. White people fuck <laughs> black people. The, the Mexicans, Indians, China, they're just loyal to their. What? What? How can an Asian woman be happy? I've watched Asian porn. You know, you watch porn. Mm -hmm. The the little dick Asian thing is an a, a absolute fact. I've never seen a a, a, a Asian guy packing wood. Those women have to fuck that, and they're yeah. loyal to that. How can you be a happy woman? Indian women that have to wear that garb when it's hot. Oh, that whole big, paisley, colorful, long, roby thing with jewelry and the weird shoes. And they and turn them into big some about socks and... Indian cum that turns a woman into a pig. <laughs> 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 a, a fat genie pig. <laughs> the curly, curly shoes. It, it, just miserable, dude. And they want you to fucking just walk around and, and respect what? Like, it just bugs me, man. Yeah.
Yeah. Holy shit. Me, it's just a weird fucking thing going on there. You're right. <laughs> Let me go to the phones. Uh, we got Kevin in Rhode Island. Kevin. Hey, how you doing? We're hey, having man. a good time today, man. Oh, good. Hey, I was at uh, my birthday. Uh, I was at a Chinese restaurant, and this place is packed every night. And I got a uh, nim chow, which is like white rice. And I look inside, and there's like a long black Asian hair right in the middle, man. And I asked the guy to make it. I was like, hey, can you uh, remake this? And he remade it. And then I'm like, hey, why don't you uh, take it off the menu? And he wouldn't do it. Why not take it Wait, off? You had to pay for two of them? Yeah, I had to pay for two. And it was on my birthday. He knew that. The place yeah, was it's, jammed. It's, what was it his was excuse, a sir, for, for, like, what was his fucking excuse when it was a hair in it, what did he say to you? Sorry, you you got unlucky. I got the bill. I said, "Can you take the nim chow off?" And he goes, "No, I made you another don't, one." But don't they understand that you're, most likely you're never going back to that place? You're going to lose customers. The customer is always right. I mean, being in the restaurant business, it sucks sometimes. But you're like, you "All right, you do the right thing." You should trademark that. What? Customers always buy. <laughs> Get it on t shirts. <laughs> yeah, bumper sticker. I think it's something so delicious about Chinese food. It's just they know right. you can't make General, right. Gao, General Gao's chicken. Right. You're not you, going to go home and make it yourself? Sesame chickens. I, I read, I Googled this recipe for se to To start to make it is like doing a science project. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was just chicken. It's a bunch of shit you got to do. <laughs> you gotta get chemical reactions. Are you yeah. fucking? You gotta get chemical reactions. I try to make my own beef and broccoli. I go, what the fuck did I do wrong? It's just steak it's and broccoli. Like it's like you took steak and broccoli and mixed it together. It's not beef and broccoli like you get. Where does that brown fucking wonderful <laughs> saucy just call it goodness? From? Goodness. Where does that, <laughs> Where did that brown goodness? Goodness. It's, come goodness. From. <laughs> it's the consistency is perfect. It adheres to the steak and the broccoli. I tried and... to make my own sushi one time. Oh, I couldn't get the rice to stick. I'm, I'm like. What the fuck is going on? Why does my fish taste like raw fish? This is not delicious. It just tastes like And is the fucking... rice just flying all over the place on you? It's this just, is hard. It tastes, tastes like the sewer. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? I tried to make sushi scrap. once, too. I had to fucking, fucking rice would stay together. I had to use electrical tape as the seaweed, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> or the rice is too sticky, you can't even get it off your own hands an hour later. They're amazing. That is amazing. Which, which quickly, the history of MSG... mean they could be assholes. Yeah. It, the history of MSG, it, 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 it was... In, in World War II, the fucking Americans, when they captured the Japanese, they took their rations, tasted it, and said, what the fuck? <laughs> this is delicious. Oh, all right, all right, Send it to right. us, scientists. This is delicious. And they fucking... It was MSG. MSG makes anything taste great. Sure. sure. Let me go to Shore, North Carolina. I can't let this one go. Not doing a lot of phones today, but this one, this is a good story, too. Shawnee. Hey, boys. Hey. Uh, a friend of my mother's went to a Chinese restaurant, and she went into the restaurant, and there was a water leak or a puddle or something, and she slipped on the tile, wound up breaking her hip, and they called the EMPs to come get her. The owner came to her and her husband three times before they wheeled her out to remind her not to forget to pay her bill. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, pay the bill. You have to pay the bill. So you break your hip it's in like, their oh, restaurant, and they still want why? you to pay the bill. I'm, I'm a hurt over here. <laughs> Is there any Chinese people that listen to the show that could possibly I would explain, explain your people? Yeah, because in a way it almost seems unfair, but maybe please, second, please call up and explain some of this Maybe a shit. second generation or third generation could explain their parents or grandparents. My Chinese know? restaurant, they once gave me uh, oranges for free after I was done, and I said thank you, and I felt like I wasn't thanking them enough for a lousy fucking few things yeah. of oranges. Shitty d desserts, what, what, toothpick what oranges tooth that was on the floor. Pick? They're like, oh, uh, they did give me something for for free finally. But then I felt guilty, and like I wasn't thanking them enough. And you catch a couple of clean your palate pineapples toothpick things yeah. from time to time. Uh, they do give you tea, but I had, yesterday I had Chinese food. Um, I said, listen, uh, I'll have the tea, which is free. Mm -hmm. uh, but I said, look, it's the, the door is open and the air conditioner is not on. Um, is it possible I can have some ice? Charge me for the ice because I was going to make iced tea. <laughs> Get the fuck totally, out of here. totally oh, different wow. game when it's hot. 
Ice is another motherfucking issue, Jack. <laughs> the freak hot shit? Take it, nigga. The, but if you make it cold and delicious and refreshing, it going to cost you $2 for the ice. It's going it's to cost you. You fucking, they, they're oh shocking. They're shocking. And I, and I don't want to be this racist, but it's absolutely true. I, Why are you like that? If Why you're on, the fuck are if you? If you're yeah, on hold and you hear a dial tone, I apologize ahead of time. I'm trying to clear the line so maybe we get some Asians to... You know, uh, fight back a little bit because we, we just don't understand this shit because we still got Geico phone calls coming in. We got AT&T phone, uh, phone calls, phone calls coming in. Why are the Asians spitting in Chinatown? Ed in Long Island wants what? to know. That might be because we're down there. There's a whole thing going on with Chinatown. I've explained on the show a few times. I went down there finally to, to check out Chinatown and go into one of the authentic restaurants. And I learned the hard way. There are restaurants for tours, and there are restaurants for the locals. Oh, yeah. And they will make it perfectly <clears throat> clear to you. We watched people just marching and getting served, and, and I don't even know why we stayed. I think the company was good, so we're talking. And uh, they didn't serve us for, I don't know, I don't know, at least two hours, at least. And then after that, the service was horrendous. And, and we knew, okay, we're never going back to this place, and that's exactly what they want. They don't want the tours in, in, in some of these restaurants. Really, they don't want the tourist money. They want to keep it in the family. Well, yeah. no, really? well, you know what? No, well, they, because there's enough people that are living in that whole area. They don't need the tourists, and they don't want to deal with you. You know what? So fuck you. I'm, I won't come and eat at the uh, fucking squiggly line, effing a boat, <laughs> <laughs> two circles and a line through it. Well, that should have been our first clue, by the way. <laughs> fucking asshole. That should have been our first clue because it didn't have an American fucking thing Excuse going me, on. what's effing a boat mean, please, you <laughs> fucking cocksucker? <laughs> I will never eat here at upside down question mark. <laughs> And uh, fucking three lines over a box ever again. <laughs> Pat in Philly. Pat. Oh, the Asians are taking a beating. I, I hope some Asians call up. Pat, go ahead. Hey, yeah, guys, you may want to call some people that were around September 11th. They said they were, uh, the, I guess the Asians were charging for bottles of water when people are trying to get the concrete out of their eyes on September 11th. Mm. I heard oh, about a few we, of those we did cases. those stories. That is absolutely but That was true. also a convenience store, like, you know, a, a lot of people took advantage at People first. that were, yeah, running convenience stores. I think most of the people realized quickly that that was, yeah, that that was pretty a pretty And let, can we be honest, though, mm. uh, and, and in their favor, just try to make it in their favor? 9-11 to them was just a, one, uh, a, a regular Wednesday <laughs> to their country. They yeah, deal with yeah. 9.12 earthquakes. They deal with disastrous shit uh, every day someone's gonna get killed their they, own government uh, just by a fucking their a suicide out. bomber <laughs> they torture the yoga people <laughs> they beat yeah, children yeah. they have um they have what they call honor killing if your wife is right, right. Uh, not taking care of her face the kill Falun, her. Falun Gong people D yeah. dude yeah, yeah. so 9-11 to, to foreigners from what nothing you yeah. you pay for my water you motherfucker the, you yeah, know they don't give a fuck not a left meant nothing to a yeah. foreigner uh, nothing let's go to jason in new york city jason hey guys hey. i just wanted to uh make the point i grew up in chinatown in the early 80s before there were any other white people there and uh they were spitting funny then what is that about anyone know what is spitting I what is that it's it's obvious uh, a few people are calling and and, and it's obvious what's that it called though what spitting what spitting. do they just spit in the like front of you or spitting, something? Yeah, they go. Puh. It, supposedly, it's pretty obvious that a lot of Asians are spitting down there in Chinatown. Spitting where? Just on the sidewalk. And it's hocking and spitting. So what is that about? Does anyone know? I'm still wondering. Thirty years later. <laughs> <laughs> you mean these motherfuckers are so they didn't let you didn't fucking get a like a like a pass like they say? Oh, you're a good one. You've been here thirty years. I'll tell you what it is. I don't know. I mean, every once in a while you'll see some spit in New York City, but they're saying down in Chinatown, it's 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 very obvious. A lot of hmm. Asians are spitting. Well, why don't you fucking spit? Why don't, why don't you spit when I'm buying your fake fucking Breitling watch, you <laughs> cocksucking bitch? <laughs> like, you know what? Fuck you. I don't need to go down here. Nah. No, I'm not going to buy your overpriced but they, uh, car radio. You know what, no, though? They make too. you feel special, though. You go into the, the front of the store, and they go, ah, no, we got what you need uh, behind the secret door. Yeah, but the Africans huh? are taking over that shit. Oh, the time. Africans are taking that I'm over? Gonna tell you, Have you ever done that, Ant? No. It's a, it's a scam. It's shopping like, your... They look at you, and they they make you feel good. Like, ah, we got better stuff back here. Make, make them believe, like, the city and the police aren't oh, aware of the right. secret door. Yeah, gotcha. And then you go back uh, through the secret door for more shit. Sorry. That's oh, going to yeah. cost you a little more. Oh, though. the great yeah. Wallex. This Wallex, 
Did you see how they, they, it sweeps? Nigga, what is that? A fucking, but they never lied to you. Amazing... But they didn't lie to you. It's a Wallex. It's a Wallex. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're not lying here. <laughs> it's, 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 it, it sleeps. Uh... It, the Wallex sleeps. What the fuck are you talking about? Here's the hand sleeps. All right, here, here's another one. Gary in Richmond. Gary. Hey, guys. Um, hey. There's a, uh, a little convenience store down the street called the Lucky Mart. And as you walk in there, they've got a big uh, handwritten sign that says, We Make Ice. And they've got a uh, one of those big industrial ice makers uh, behind the counter that they bag their own ice and then sell their own ice. Um, what? Uh, per what uh, Patrice was saying earlier, as far as uh, how hardcore they are, wow. it's like water. It's just water. Just cheap. I'm not sure yeah. Please, I mean, please look at if if motherfuckers don't hit trash at anybody, Puerto Ricans, they'll call in. Fuck you. Yeah. But please explain. And they won't. You know why? They're just not. You. The only one that'll call is a, an Asian person would never listen to this fucking show. Oh, we got one right now. Oh, I'm gonna interrupt Let's you, see. Jason in Queens. Jason, I apologize ahead of time for all this abuse, sir. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> this no, is what we see, though, and, and and people aren't allowed to talk freely about what they see anymore. All right, thank you. Go ahead, Jason. I don't know, I think it's just kind of fucked up. You guys are stereotyping all the Asians. And, you know, I think half of that shit is fucking untrue. I mean, how many Asians do you really know? How many Asian dicks, uh, how many Asian cocks have you seen? It's good to know all Asians having small dicks, you know? I've seen the porn. Yeah, the porno. It's the porn. It, the porn. Now, those porns are fucking... Pretty much all joke. It's a pretty much a okay. Joke. Yeah, but you'd That's want the big dick, dick yeah, Asian. Yeah, but, but don't get a, don't get emotional. Just let's talk about it. Okay. I watch a lot of porn. Okay. Oh, so and, do I. I wait mean, a minute. I, mean, I, mean, I served in the military, so. An Asian porn, porn, Asian porn, okay, has a lot of regular human beings in it. Okay, a lot of amateur in the Asian porn. It the Asian dudes are packing. Not major. There's not been one major wood Asian that I've seen. I've seen. I, I never I say white say. guys have little dicks no more because I grew up and I saw Peter North's dick when I was like 15. <laughs> and I said, this is a fucking baby arm. It's a, it's evil. But I'm, I mean, I'm not saying I'm packing, but I'm, I'm, I can fucking fend for myself on that. Yeah, one. fair enough. I'm the same way. But, dude, your people. There you go, Patrice. Say we found one. <laughs> oh shit! And he's gay. <laughs> Your people are egregious in terms of the their friend. And you see how you're not really Asian. You're an American, dude. You the the Asiany Asians are <laughs> fucking. Mean. Asian -y Asian. What is it about your people that aren't friendly? The fresh off the boat Asians. Yes, they're mean people who aren't. You are an American Asian, dude. You're not a fucking. I, like I said, I give credit where credit's due. San Francisco Asians are tremendous. You sound are like a tremendous dude, but you're not an Asian. You're fucking. You're just. You're, you're defending Asians because you're Asian, but you're not. Not you're not the people I'm talking about. My dry cleaner is an I, asshole. I, oh, you know, I can agree with that. I mean, I've called my Chinese group players, and they can't fucking understand a word I'm fucking saying. Yeah. But you know, it's you know, it's a two-way street. You know. I mean, I'm sorry. I did, there is a few, and they're Jesus. all gay. All gay. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. What the fuck? That That's... might be fake right there. Yeah, That's fucking... Supporting something there. <laughs> His mom's got fucked by Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I hate to be... Not you, but we're talking about this giant dick uh, Asian guy. Fucking, dude, I'm... I'm we, we, you know, no one wants to get fucking Asian people bent out of shape, but dude, you're, you're just... You're just not fucking... You got to get better. Your people, not you, right. your people. Let me, uh, thank you, uh, Jason. There's uh, a bunch of uh, Asians now calling. Uh, Mark in Texas. Mark. Hey. Hey, buddy. Uh, so, I, Patrice, I, I'm a little annoyed at you. Like, uh, you, you you look at these people and you say, well, they don't know you after or how many years. Do you know their names? <laughs> Yeah, Lee Fong or Henry Wu. <laughs> First of all, here's another guy. Again, again, dude, you you're defending your people, and I understand that. I'm not angry with that. But do you notice how you're not fucking Asian? You're 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 fucking English. You your yeah. your 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 heritage is Asian, but you're not these people I'm talking about that I do business that I give a lot of money between. The dry cleaner, the laundromat, the fish guy, okay, and the fucking 
housekeeper at one point at least at least nine hundred dollars every couple of months i'm dishing out to a fucking asian who treats me like shit <laughs> that's fantastic you're you're contributing to the uh to my college fund but uh Listen, my parents owned a, uh, a grocery store in uh, Atlanta for a number of years. I feel I sorry for your mother. Store. That's from. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I love that one. I feel sorry for your mother. For your mother. <laughs> What'd you say, motherfucker? What motherfucker? That guy was but go ahead, dude. I'm sorry. I'm gonna come down there. No, but I mean, it, it's not right. White people come in there and treat us like crap. And, and you love it. You love it. I see how white people treat you, and you fucking love to get treated like shit oh, no, by white people. Money. I'm married to a white woman now, but listen, I, I, we love the money. We love the money that we get from you, and we treat you like crap, too. Because mm -hmm. the way, way you guys look at us sometimes is like, well, this this fucking guy who came over here and is just running this restaurant. Can I, can, I, can, I, can I tell you what black people do with Asians? We come in, and we're super... We super... We want, to, we want you to be nice to us so bad. You treat us like... Shit. We go into your bulletproof Chinese restaurants <laughs> and and you treat us like garbage and we are above you in the oppression game. You don't treat us bad. You we treat you bad. Like meaning meaning this. Don't treat us like white people treat us, nigga. We're in this together. It's like I come in your restaurant, you're in a black community restaurant treating me like shit. Black people love Chinese food, and we love the bad Chinese food. White people going to China. It's like, I want no MSG. I want the, the specific steamed, thing. I have steamed broccoli, broccoli. Brown rice. Mm. Black people go, give us the horse shit that you was going to throw away, and we're going to eat it. <laughs> Come on, man. And again, you married a white woman. You didn't even marry your rigid, corny-ass women. <laughs> rigid, corny. You didn't. I bet your parents didn't like that, right? No, they loved it. Why? Ask them. Oh. Why did your parents like that? Um, they don't know. So. Hmm. Oh, you kept it from them? Well, no, they they're they're kind of not in the country anymore, and oh, I don't oh, okay. them in a little while. Oh boy. All right. All right. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, a whole story. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's, a, that's a big oh, story what's going there. On there. Oh, boy. Second oh, Asian is American, though. Yeah. Now, why were you saying the parents don't mind? Because they love white people. It's an upgrade. Yeah. It's an up if you if an Asian marries a white person, an Asian woman marries a white guy. It's a fucking tremendous I was, upgrade. I always heard really? that it was yep. going to be a Ask problem. Them. No. In other cultures, no. that's not the, the they case. They love white guys. But let an Asian girl bring a white guy home. All right, Mark, thank Stay you. I've got to give some other people a chance here. I, I appreciate you <laughs> defending uh, your culture there. Let's go to Justin in Ohio. Justin. Hey, what's up, boys? Hey, man. Hey, uh, okay, so I'm Filipino-American, and um, I, I just started listening to the show. Um, I've been into dentist, so I, I'm just catching the tail end of the conversation. And a lot of the generalizations that you guys have made about Asians – are fairly accurate, I must say, and uh, I don't know. I okay, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you no, just lost. No, are you all right? Justin, 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 you all right? I'm still on. I lost, I'm, lost it. I, I lost my. What, you get an MSG headache stuff. in the middle of your Jesus. phone call? <laughs> yeah, Fucking. basically. But uh, the small penis thing, I'll admit it. I'm not, you know, packing really anything big, but. Um, I will tell you that. I, but but I, hey, I, hey, dude, yeah. hey, dude, can I say one thing about the small yeah. penis thing? It doesn't matter. I'm not packing major wood like that. I'm saying as far as the misery of the women hmm. is that they they're so committed to their own people, but they're so that they won't explore something else that uh, maybe a bigger dick will make them happier. Right. But they're so fucking loyal Agreed. to their fucking bullshit that they won't ex they won't fuck with a nigga, fuck with a big dick Puerto Rican. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if you've ever been to Ohio, buddy, but there are so many Asian women that are with black dudes here. Yeah, but that's magical, niggas. Like, you got to have a, you have to have genie pants, silver shoes, and a half an afro and half fucking dreadlocks. You can't be a normal nigga. You have to be fucking, you have to be uh fucking, what's the, what's up, what's his name there, Max, Maxwell? Or the, what's the other guy, uh, fucking Lenny Kravitz, to get a Chinese bitch, nigga. You can't be a regular nigga and get a Chinese bitch. They ain't having it, man.
They well, have you seen Maxwell lately? He's a big fat bastard. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's it's I I I I take pride in learning a little bit about it because it's interesting shit. I I give money to Asian um people have great service. They do not bullshit, man. My dry cleaning as much as i would want to find i used to go to a russian lady for my dry cleaning yeah she was a wonderful talking woman but i would have fucking jelly stains on my <laughs> pants and i don't eat jelly <laughs> this asian guy the service is phenomenal but he just won't be nice to me mm -hmm. he just yeah, won't be nice true. There's an Asian buffet that I frequent close to where I live, and there's this fucking asshole manager. No matter how nice you are towards him, you know, <laughs> like, just talk to him friendly and say hello and how are you, how are you doing. He's just a big fucking cocksucker. Like, just here, here's your food. No thank you yeah. or anything. Just yeah, you got to deal with the fucking public. You got to have a personality. It's, it's shocking. You got to show me. something. Shocking. Right, right on, man. All right, Justin, thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, Bobby in uh, New York. Uh, Bobby. Hey, uh, I have actually two examples. One, I have a friend living in Hong Kong, and he, he just came home for a couple weeks, and he says, you don't understand what it's like to be spit on. And I thought, like, they were spitting on him because he was American. No, no, they just spit as a part of their culture. And indoors, it, it doesn't matter. If they're, if they're clearing their throat, they're spitting out. Just like if they're, they won't hold the door open for you because it's, it's, a waste, it's considered a waste of time. Take, wait, and say, what's the waste of time? Holding a door. Holding a door. Like, there, there's no politeness because you're just... Oh, I'm going to try that one out. I wonder if that's yeah. real. And then if you get yelled at, you go, I'm not wasting my time. Exactly. Let's see and where then, it goes. Uh, I could, I could, wow. Wow. I could relate to it where I worked in a Chinese restaurant for about four years delivering. Now, I was considered a peasant because I was a delivery guy, but from the area I'm from, I'm from a good area, and you made a lot of good money delivering the food. But once they realize, like, the size of your house or what you drive... They treat you like you're, <clears throat> you're just a, you know, you're you're one of them now because you have enough money. Because in their country, it's if you you have all the money or no money, and you're treated like a peasant. Mm. Mm. Well, look at you trying to talk low, and um, I, I'm at work, and I don't want to be too loud. <laughs> I, well, and, and another thing, is they, don't, they don't understand any type of humor, like sarcasm. You, I, you I don't think they do either. It doesn't relate. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't it doesn't relate. translate. Yeah. Sarcasm. Only thing that's funny to them is. Oh, no, 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 no. Fucking a girl with fucking a blurred out pussy <laughs> with a rat crawling in her asshole. <laughs> Let me say, I saw a fucking Chinese thing where they had a bitch's head sticking out of a, out of a floor yeah. and, and gave her a fucking meatloaf hat. Yeah. And let and let Hila monsters, <laughs> Komodo ah, dragons, ah, ah, run right. around to well, eat the meatloaf hat, and they go blah, 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 and they think that's hilarious. Shows. That's one of those game shows, right? They think it's hilarious. Yeah, they're game yeah. shows. They don't care if people are just about being killed. <laughs> That's what they find funny, though. Like, that they let people hat. run on icebergs and let them fall off and smash their face into one when and, they're trying to jump. And, and we step on that, that stick, the, the uh, 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 what do they call that, that show on ABC? Oh, yeah. The Great Buns. I, they, I watch uh, Ninja Warrior and the other thing they do, the Great Buns. I, you know, I watch it for a second. But you, after a while, you go, eh. This is the meatloaf hat shit. Oh, man, look at this. It's a pork chop. It's a big fucking... Gila monster. <laughs> a woman in danger is hilarious in Japan. Oh, you're out. So what, it's the last girl to have her head up? This is kind of genius, though, if you will. They're just <laughs> screaming. They're fucking screaming and running away from this monster. <laughs> Their heads are sticking out of a hole. <laughs> With Kobe beef fucking yeah. strapped to the top. <laughs> and they're all laughing. The thing's freaking out now. <laughs> oh, I get How that. old are the girls? Uh, they look like fucking... Well, they all look like that, I guess. And their porn is just like this. Yeah. It's evil. What a weird fucking... <laughs> How fucking weird. Man. Women in distress <laughs> is hilarious in Japan. Well, we did this bit. Oh, uh, this one doesn't 55 care. 55-gallon drum challenge was... Might as well have been a Japanese game show. Yeah. Right? She don't care that one. Nah. <laughs> <She's into it. laughs> 
Who thought this shit up? It's, right, it, let me, it, they it, just it, are <laughs> fucking... It's beyond me. Bobby, good phone call. Thank you. Let's go to Mike on Long Island. Mike? Mike. Yo, boys. Hey. Uh, I actually live in uh, Long Island City, and we have a ton of Asians living in my building. And one day, I'm sitting in front of a door outside, and I see a woman coming you know, with a wheelchair. I opened the door for her, and she yelled at me for standing in front of the door. She mm. didn't. She didn't realize you was being polite. No, no, not wow. at all. And I fucking went after it. I said, "There is no reason to be rude. You are rude people." Her at the best. Oh part, boy. Her, her husband stood there the whole time while we're yelling. He didn't say a word. Kept his head down. Jesus Christ! Matt made Insulting a the entire yeah. people. Oh, a lot of phone My calls. Goodness. What does that say? Somebody's stories. insult uh, the entire people is insulted. The entire peoples. Yes. Yeah, come on, man. You come people on. are. Hey. Come on. They tell me it's you people. Come on. If if, well, if Asians start talking about black people, what what was annoying about them? I'd I'd be interested to know. Mm, like what's yeah, annoying yeah. about everybody? I'm I'm not saying Asians are hard. The ones I deal with and what I see, Asians are not friendly. And what are you going to do? Force me to say? I'm not right. saying your eyes are this and you're the, you're fucking not friendly, man. And not was, the ones I know. I said San Francisco. Show me some other one. San Francisco Asians. Tremendously friendly people, man. Mm. I'm just talking about my experience with the restaurants. I don't know any. Yeah, exactly. that's all. Yeah, I, I don't that's know, all yeah. I know. What do you? What else, what else do you need to? If, if I experience, look, if you go into the black supermarket, you're gonna have a less friendly time than the white one. Yeah. Where white people go to shop, it's just fun oh, and it's better. Wonderful. I don't give a fuck if they're watching me to steal because I don't steal. But to go into a supermarket where there's not a woman standing horizontal in a vertical aisle Ooh, do you just want daring you fucking, to yeah. fucking move her cart while her fucking kid is opening spaghetti boxes? <laughs> For real? You, you don't this? see... Dude, <laughs> nigga, restaurants... Why are they opening up the spaghetti but boxes? She's, yeah, but but her just... kid doesn't care and she don't care and she dares you to say, Miss... Can you move? Can you move your Can car? you turn your cart in a mm. in a double fucking movement? Yeah. You, if can you go west and I go mm. east? Not if, how? Why you turn north in an east west lane? You yeah. fucking crazy person! I'm looking. I'll be done in a minute. Oh I'll be God. done. Come on, man. If you was to say that about black supermarkets, Asian people, I'd understand and I'd go, fantastic. Yeah. I don't shop in, you know, the only time I shop in Asian supermarkets, because they got really cool shit i never seen before. <laughs> they have really cool um, uh, fucking spatulas, really cool food. Their pasta is really cool, and they got spices and shit and yeah. chili. But in terms of going there and friendly... You're not going to get no. much friendly. If I no. want a nice, friendly shopping experience, I'm going to the f goddamn white path mark, nigga, <laughs> 10 miles away. Wall bounds. Where, where you don't have to have a fucking pay. Here's nigga supermarkets. Two things. They have things that block you from taking the carts away from the property. You can't take it away. You can't take it to your car. To your car, right, right. So they they put metal things that you only can take it to right there. I remember these from Brooklyn, yeah. And then the other one is they have elaborate pay systems where you have to put in a quarter to get the cart, and then you yeah. get your quarter back that when you take it like back. like a fucking ride. So a, lot, so a quarter makes you take it back. They're yeah. going to go to a dollar. That'll make you definitely take it back. Yeah, you put it in, then you get your quarter. But back. fucking white this. people supermarkets, you know what they have? They have the fucking cart return thing yes. all over the parking people lot. People bring it, and they, there's guys that actually go and get the carts and bring all them back and put them in the, the line. Fucking oh. And how wide the aisles are. <laughs> Aren't the aisles so wide? Just in, wide? You know what? Just in case a nigglet wants to turn horizontal, that no one has to have a fight. Big, large aisles. Nice and large. <laughs> it's spaghetti in the spaghetti aisle with the sauce. That makes sense. Wonderful. Very exotic. And, and it is what it is. It's just yeah. like you go there, you ask, usually all white women are, e all white women are evil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 30 old white women, white guys, friendly, white guys in customer service, men, customer service men, yeah. basically nice. You get a raspy old fucking white bitch. Awful, yeah, and hard. young black bitches, awful. Indian people across the board, hideous. <laughs> what, what, what do you want me to fucking say? I give you credit where it's due. Yeah. You're not getting extra fucking credit for nothing, motherfucker. <laughs> if my credit's six hundred, you don't give me seven, nigga. If you if you you are what you are. Yeah.
I've noticed that shit. Yep. <sighs> Fuck Patrice. Bravo. Um, <sighs> the boys uh, put this together before we wrap up. We got. What do you got? It's a Steve is gay uh, production oh, piece. All right. Wow. The whole day almost went by without I us. I know. That's why we have it. to get one in. Check this out. June 15th, 2010 was a momentous day in Opie and Anthony history. Executive producer Steve Carlisi finally comes out of the closet about his outright and blatant homosexuality. Have you ever taken a hot, soapy shower with a man? Yes. Have you ever held another man's penis while it was erect in your hand? Yes. Have you ever had the desire to perform oral sex upon another man, but never moved forward with it? Yes. Have you ever had uh, sexual physical contact with your mouth and another man's penis? Yes. Do you think you're a good producer? <laughs> no. He's telling the truth. Thanks for listening, and join us again for the next installment of This Day in Opie and Anthony History. <laughs> you didn't throw him under a bus. You threw him out of a fucking window, man. I like the laugh <laughs> and then the no. Fuck? Oh, my God. Ah, that's good. Well, there you go. That's that's wonderful. <laughs> Fuck. I uh, I had a great uh, time. What today. do you mean? We're done? Yeah, we're fucking done. That was it, was that passive aggressive? For, that wasn't even passive aggressive. That was aggressive aggressive. Are you calling it? That was. I am fucking calling it's it. Calling it. All right. I'm calling it. Is this the time to call it? You know, I don't want to go. I'm lonely. Yeah, it's fucking good. I'm lonely too, but I'd rather be lonely at my house. Why can't you come back tomorrow, Patrice? We want. I'm you going to uh, Chicago. hang out with Naughty. I'm busy. That's Friday, isn't it? You're going no, up there tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow night's the show. No, but they. You got shit. Got to go out. I understand. By the way, I played Red Dead Redemption. I love uh, it. Laszlo. I love it. Yeah. Did you play it? Fuck yeah! It's kind of Finally, Grand the Theft. Um, Grand Theft Western. Western. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's it's graphics are even better, and I thought they were great with the GTA series. It took me a minute to figure out how to do things that I wanted to do. Yeah. Because it was it's it's a lot of shit, but what they did they gave us cheat codes. I'd like that. Thank you very much. Ah, yeah, they're online. I, we were we were fucking I, around with the cheat thank codes. Thank you very much with the cheat codes, yep. uh, Laszlo. And one of the characters is I was so jealous I couldn't even hide it. Bonnie McFarlane. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Bonnie I was McFarlane. just like, and I started looking for other names. Is anybody else in there? Is there Greg Hughes? I bet I, you it is. I I know I. I blew off Laszlo. I could have been in the game. Dude, I, Bonnie I, I, McFarlane is a is one of the major yeah, main things in the fucking game. Bonnie McFarlane. I'm so I was so yeah. jealous. Wait, yeah. Laszlo didn't call you? Laszlo don't like me, I don't think. That's Oh Laszlo likes you. Does he? Yeah. He acts like he doesn't. Really? He gets he gets that. I see I catch him He's peripher peripherally. I catch him giving me a snarl every <laughs> couple of seconds. <laughs> like I don't know what it is, but I catch Laszlo because I like Laszlo, really? but I catch him giving me a dirty look. So I, I want to know that shit because I fucking I was oh jealous. God. I was jealous as a motherfucker. Oh, that ask him. Bonnie McFarlane, man. I said, I said, what's that name? That's familiar. I said, that's Bonnie. Oh, then Bonnie. I go, holy shit, it is Bonnie McFarlane. Yeah. What, what's the best thing you've done in the game so far? Because fuck playing the game how they tell you to play it. I I I uh, just I uh, cheat coded, mm -hmm. traveled to a place that I didn't supposed to be. It was a gang hideout that you certainly wouldn't be able to win unless you had built up to that right, level. Right, right, yeah, yeah. It was to save a sheriff and to stop this gang and, and also burn down a mansion. Oh, it was, like, it was it was great. Great death and, and destruction. And, you know, there's a, there's a lot of extra bullshit in it, like, um, where you uh, you hunt and kill animals for, for you money. you see the bears yet? I didn't get to bears yet. There's yeah. bears. There's bears in there. You see the buffalo yet? No, I just I'm, I, oh, I before I cheated, I just woods, got up to man. Cougars. I, I, and I, Cougars are pretty. I don't know what to do with trains. I don't know stagecoach. And then the poker game is quite fun. Oh yeah, yeah, they got poker games. You poker, can sit and play poker, horseshoes. Yep, it, it's a well thought out game, man. Yeah. It just took me a second to fucking. <laughs> to figure it all out. I'm the, I'm the gun store salesman. I'm like the guy that sells the guns in the gun store. And uh, is that you? Yeah, yeah. The guy that. Uh, Damn it! Now I yeah, gotta go. And, and some guy roped me and tied me to the fucking train tracks. He he fucking had it all. He emailed it to me. A Same thing with the cops. <laughs> if you do certain things, yeah. But yeah. the only thing you can buy, you can go and go. Hey man, here's your twenty two hundred dollars. Buy me out of murdering a fucking cop or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And you're the fucking. Yeah. Are you anybody the, the, else? The gun guy. 
You, yeah, s- yeah. you, you, you sell the guns? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I thought that's that was it. pretty funny. Cheap though. bastard. You only gave me $8 for antlers? I was fucking... <laughs> and you didn't do the show? I, I, He kept calling me. He said he had a great part for me, and I don't know. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck I was glitch. thinking. I'm stupid. Guys just I'm floating stupid. in midair. That's a little glitch in the game. Have you have you taken out the whole town yet, Patrice? Yeah, I do. You know how great is that? It's a good. I just it's camp a, out and say I'm going to take out this game, whole man. fucking town. You're in the game as the fucking gun sales. Yeah, I'm the gunsmith. It's so weird to know people that this is how, like. <laughs> I know. There's I somebody. Think it's the it's somebody in fucking Wisconsin is like you know playing this game and it's like you, and it's goddamn Bonnie McFarland. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was pretty. That fucking, fucking funny. bitch is in the game like, and and really with a big B that you can keep going oh, back yeah, to visit. Yeah. Yeah, she's a big she's part one of the of game. The, she's one of the big letters. I'm big so jealous, man. She's a capital letter in the game. I didn't know how to, the, uh, how, how to make my horse run at first, so I got in a fight with this guy and uh, inadvertently punched another guy when I was fighting him, so now they're both fighting me. Both fighting. So I jump on my horse, and I'm just walking away because I don't know how to make him gallop yet, and they grab me off my horse and throw, throw me it, on the ground amazing. and start beating the piss out of me again. I'm like... How the fuck am I going to get away if I don't know? And you got to learn the, the, the secret to it. If you push it to the, but there's a way to do it where it doesn't go. You just kind of press and you have to go to steady. Yeah, yeah. Kinda. It's not just pressing a controller thing. You got to kind of finesse the controller. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a, a graphics on the horse. He twitches ridiculous. his tail and it's shit. It's a well done game. You have a taxi that can get you to different places yeah, after a while. Yeah. It's a well, it's a well. Done game. I have. To, I have Absolutely. to fucking say. I wish Lazarus right. would call Dynamite me a son of a bitch. Too. Yeah, next time, man. He's he's working on a new game gun. all the time. Damn so. it, Laszlo. Patrice O'Neill. Fucking a. What can I tell? Uh, uh, say you, great having Patrice. What a, what a in. great fucking show today. As always, with you. I love coming in, guys. That's I'm going. Where am I going now? Nowhere. I know. Walk down the street, looking at people, and then I'm gonna be in the house. Maybe we'll go eat or something. You know. I don't know. Maybe we'll get one of those uh, <laughs> nah, burrito want. bowls we like. I fucking can't eat that shit no more. I'm, I'm finished. <laughs> I'm finished. <laughs> I'm finished. He just resigns himself. There's the Buffaloes. Big Mama Prods on Twitter. Uh, Patrice is a great one to follow on the Twitter. And then Helium Comedy Club next weekend for Philly. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Next week. Next week. Tickets at heliumcomedy.com. Those shows should uh, sell out for you down there, no? They, I have a pretty good following down there. I, I had to, I had to um, whittle away at some of the people that hate me, and mm. then now I get a decent, uh, like a. It doesn't hit. Boom. I'm, I'm still like you told me about P twos and P threes one day. He was telling me about. Yeah, oh, I was yeah, yeah. All that, that was, shit a, that was a good. Uh, that was a good lesson about life, and so I'm work. Look at this oil. You know, whoa, see whoa, that whoa. picture right there? Yeah, isn't yeah, the that that's camera. enough oil? Yeah, right there. What we just saw. <laughs> that would be that would be a seconds. problem. Right. Shit. That would be a problem. You're right. But Philly, man, I always have a great time with Philly, man. So, you know. Cool. I like helium. All right. Well, fuck, man. We got to get you back sooner than later, Patrice. Well, I'm gleaming along. Yeah. Next week, I go to Philly. Maybe I can come in next week before I go to Philly. You know, That'd you should nice. do that to push the shows a little bit. You should do that. So Patrice will be uh, back one day next week. We'll figure it out. I'll talk to Steve if he's not... Um... Yes. You know, he went home hours ago, and I, I didn't even gay. know. Yeah, I didn't even know. Was, I didn't even know. He was here in the first place? <laughs> oh, no. What the fuck, man? Just... Leave Steve alone, we really, we really are mean. <laughs> you really... <laughs> I'm just being honest. I didn't even know he went home. Oh, oh, He's the executive producer. I got an email during the break. Take care of the kids, man. Gotta his wife's sick or something. I didn't even know. He's, he's like, I'm listening from home if you need anything. I'm like, I didn't even know you left. He's a family man, dude. I'll be listening from homo. I need home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Have a good day. Later.